Hey guys. So last time we were doing our mission in the Scarlet Blaze Path for our second path in New Game Plus to try and recruit Gerald and Bilathir. And it turned out because we didn't actually get this Resonant Lightning strategy, we didn't even have the option to recruit Gerald. Was uh, really surprising. Pretty awkward. Definitely accidentally murdered Gerald and Byleth ran off. Now I am still pretty sure that if the paths do diverge... It's probably from this point, which makes me wonder if there's almost like six mini paths, because there were 16 chapters in our last playthrough through Golden Wildfire. And again, I'm pretty sure it was also chapter 10 in that playthrough where we had the opportunity to recruit Violet and Gerald or not. And it very clearly made a pretty big difference if we had them or not to the story. So, I am a little bit interested to see. I might save on a different save file after this fight just to see what happens if we were to say uh, not recruit by listen Gerald, but i do think i'm still probably just going to do the main path where we do recruit them on every single one of our three main play playthroughs and then we'll probably go ahead and i might just do the other one off stream but i am interested to see because if there is a point where the paths do kind of change up it's got to be there i don't think so far that i've seen anything that hints at a church route unless again it's in the kingdom but yeah it was really really awkward because we got a full-on cutscene when we fought gerald and the thing was we didn't full clear, we actually only had like 30 energy when we went ahead and did this stage the first try, which I did go ahead and use Merc Whistles, get some other stuff, just to make sure we could clear at every stage. But that being said, it was a little bit just different than I was expecting, because in Golden Wildfire, we had cleared out everything. I don't remember if we needed a specific strategy, but I do remember that there was a very clear point where Claude was telling us, hey, don't pick a fight with Byleth. And Arvo's telling us, oh no, this is your chance to go kill Byleth. And I have my doubts that we still would have actually killed Byleth had we gone for it then. But, that being said, still, like, I just remember being very confused last stream just because it didn't seem like there was another option. I didn't notice another way, you know, to avoid killing Geralt if we hadn't brought that specific strategy. Now... Because I didn't want to spend like 20 minutes trying to figure out how to, not 20 minutes, you know, like an hour or so trying to figure out all the different ways to try and actually save Geralt. I did look it up. We do have to do a few specific things. We can't actually kill Baron Mattius right there. I think we're supposed to capture every fort around him. Ah. Uh, but, eh. Like, my general thought was I really didn't want to look up anything for this game. I try not to when I play new games. But again, I was just like super confused as to why Bar uh, Gerald just kind of keeled over and then Byleth ran away. When this is very clearly the chapter where we should be recruiting them. And I didn't really see another way to do anything. So, awkward, but I still don't know how you do it in the Kingdom playthrough though. So, we'll maybe try that blind first try and then if we fail that again, you know. We'll figure something else at that point. But... I don't know. What'd you see? Right now, for what we are one for one on first try for uh, recruiting them. So, just one of those interesting things. Uh, is there an actual. I can't believe it's come to this. Yeah, is he just gonna give up now or. I'm confused. Oh, there's another fort to capture, that's why. Oops. Let's have uh, Edelgard also not just immediately start attacking him. Yeah, I'm just blind. I didn't realize that there was another fort over here. But apparently, so we had to have that very specific strategy. And then we do also have to, obviously we want to have enough points to recruit Yuri. So you need at least 50 points of the 60 that you can get. So, just interesting. But apparently we're not supposed to kill the Baron. We have to use that strategy which deploys like engineers, which we've had missions before in Golden Wildfire. You kind of just protect them. And then we kind of just... Yeah, okay. I just didn't even realize that that was an option because again, usually the main, uh, I feel like the main mission isn't something that you can get around. I remember we did do, we've only actually failed, I think, two stages so far. Um, accidentally killing Gerald is still, you know, we still would have won the stage. I just didn't want to kill Gerald. Um, I know one time we just weren't paying attention and then whatever it was we were supposed to protect died and then... There's a few other options, like, we didn't fail the stage where we let Dorothy die, I just didn't want to let Dorothy die. <laughs> Stuff like that. Uh, that said, I do wonder if we still have to actually kill Rodri. Because that 
is something else that didn't exactly seem optional. But once again, e I'm starting to learn that even if it doesn't seem optional in the main mission, if there is potentially a strategy that could affect it, maybe you can do something. I'll do my best. But we'll see. No Let's see, direct all them and head up that way. Hmm. Overall, though, yeah. I'm thinking... I really am thinking, though, that the night playthrough is going to be a little bit different, just because I'd like to save up a little bit of gold, maybe off-stream, if possible, going into that path so that we have some money to level up Dimitri at the very least. But, I just... I'm... Mm, just confused, because it seems like we can't recruit that many units. I remember we did look up last stream if we could actually save Ingrid, because we did, you know, kill Ingrid. That's not an option. She's not recruitable in this path. I didn't see what other members of the kingdom really were recruitable. But right now in Golden Wildfire, I think we did only have Ash. And then in, you know, this path so far, we only have Ash and Mercedes. Still can't used to get quite used to saying that name that way. But, you know, we don't really have that many members of the kingdom that we can level up in advance. So, just something to think about. Overall today, though, my goal is to get a few more chapters in. We probably have at least this stream and one or two more on this particular path. Because you have to also consider, it took us like three hours just to uh, do our last stream, which was the last stage with all the conclusion stuff, as well as we did all our paralogs and support conversations and such then, or at least the vast majority of them. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. In that case, we should probably just work down there. I don't know if... So when we uh, did defeat Geralt last time, and he just straight up died. Uh, Randolph did die here. And so I'm curious to see if that is actually something that we can't change as well. It might be. It makes me wonder though. Because the tragedy with Randolph kind of getting betrayed by Claude. And then his sister being just incredibly angry with us. As you imagine. You know, like that that was the catalyst for Byleth and Geralt joining us this time. I wonder if that's if it happens and it's unavoidable. Maybe a sister betrays the Empire. You know, stuff like that. It just... Little things like that, I gotta wonder. Because Flesh is also being attacked here. You know, we are rescuing her as well. Hmm. Let's just do this. Hmm. There we go. That how to do it. Unless it doesn't... Okay. okay there's a Sorcerer Engineer up by Dorothy. Yeah, overall, these uh, these combat engineers literally didn't even show up when we uh, did the stage the first time. So clearly we do need that strategy because it's super integral to it. But yeah, I could have just kind of messed around and seen how long it took me to figure this out. It's just one of those things, too, that I think wouldn't have been an issue. Maybe some people playing the first playthrough are just rushing through. But our first playthrough, we did literally every single new stage on stream. And I really didn't want to try everything else, you know? That said, you know, like, we haven't worried about the S-Rank Wards because the vast majority of them are pretty much useless to us. So, in our new game plus, and this will probably happen in the Kingdom outside of a few specific key stages as well, I've kind of just done my own thing. So, just something interesting. Because you can use those Merc Whistles to clear stages. It only gives you a D-Rank in it. But it saves you so much time, honestly. And on the vast majority of stages, I really don't think you need it. But... Mm, we'll see. But overall, we're doing pretty well so far. I still don't know if we need to worry about all the extra enemies around here. Seems like we've cleared out most of the left side entirely. Uh, I'd imagine... We still probably have to fight Violet. There's the Swordmasters and Yuri. Uh, I don't know if we have to... I think we do have to either defeat or recruit Yuri first. So we'll probably head that way. Yeah, it is the main mission. Interesting. Persuade Yuri and be on our way. Hi, Yuri. Oh my gosh. Well, if it wasn't before, probably going to now. Jeez. 
Jeez. All right, there we go. He's done. How are we doing on enemies? I've started checking. The funny thing is, too, the reason we didn't get a lot of S ranks before was because I wasn't defeating enough enemies. Because I didn't know I could just hit the minus button on my controller and just immediately see how close we were on enemies defeated. And now that I know, I check, like, every single stage. <laughs> not because I think it'll be an issue, but because I'm paranoid that I'm accidentally going to miss out on S ranks. And we're already not doing most of the stages, so we probably want to make sure that we are getting S ranks whenever we can. Again, most of the rewards haven't been useful to us, but it's still basically free extra resources. Because time and damage haven't been an issue unless... I think there's literally one stage out of the entirety of, like... We're about... Arguably, considering we're only going to do the three-man pass when you rescue Violet... Uh, recruit Violet and Gerald on stream. Being at the point... Where we've recruited... Um, oh, sorry, where we've done the entire Golden Wildfire path and we're on Chapter 10 of... I'm assuming 16 on every path. On the second path here, we're about halfway through the game, and we've only ever failed one stage because of time. And it was because I was really messing around. It literally- and we've never failed because of damage. It really is just the danger of us not defeating enough enemies. As Arvel tries to egg us on to- <laughs> He tries to egg us on to kill Byler for game. There we go. Byler should retreat. I always forget that these red um, soldiers are usually the Empire soldiers just because, you know, normally, red enemies are enemies. But uh, because we're for the Empire, all these red uh, units are actually our allies. <laughs> See, here I thought Celtis was taking over again, but... And maybe that is what happens, that's why she leaves. That said... Yeah, it's a little bit concerning. Oh, we should probably get here. Alright, but I'm still a little bit... I'm trying to remember what the next step actually is in recruiting Violet. All I know is we needed to have that, uh, that tactic. And I'm assuming it's going to be like the other path where we still have some sort of choice. But again, it just makes me wonder. I didn't look it up for Golden Wildfire, but again, we had a very clear choice between run away from Byleth or fight Byleth. I wonder if... I can't remember if it was an actual strategy we had to bring to block Byleth in. Because the strategy we used was Claude ran in, used himself as bait. And then we had the option to either engage uh, Byleth at Arvo's request or run away with Claude, as Claude was saying, and then block Byleth in. That really does make me wonder if... Again, had we... Did we need a specific strategy? That's the only other thing I can think of, because again, other than that, it didn't really seem like there was much of a choice in figuring out, you know, can we rescue, I keep saying rescue, recruit Byleth and Gerald or not. Which is very confusing to me, honestly, but it's just one of those, I did it first try and I'm starting to wonder how. <laughs> because we messed this one up royally just because we didn't clear everything on the stage. But again, we full cleared the first time, so who knows. That's it, though. We have to advance the enemy base. I'm assuming, yeah, we gotta fight Alois. I was still really, really surprised that Alois just ditched the Knights of Saros and then joined Gerald's Mercenaries. Because it seems that he's done this on, I'm assuming, every path at this point. I know that they were, like, friends from before. But clearly, when we were at the Alliance slash Federation on Golden Wildfire, Shamir was the other big exception. But Shamir's also been less of a very clear, like, she always, always lean towards a little bit being just as much a mercenary as a Knight of Saros. You know, she didn't wear the fancy armor. She uh, talked about being a mercenary. Just all that stuff. It wasn't quite the same as Alois's, whereas Alois always seemed like an actual knight. And you would think at a time when the Church of Saros and Rey are in such an issue, as they're being pressed back so heavily in both the past we've done, that he wouldn't have. Because even Shamir was, you know, on this particular path, I wasn't sure if she'd be recruitable or if, like, any of the knights would be recruitable on the Empire Path, because it's the Empire Path. Um, what's the other side mission we have right now? Oh, we gotta seize that stronghold. Okay. Let's do that real quick. But it just seems odd to me. Because, again, I, I think that there was reason for, like, Shamir joined us as a mercenary, basically, before. And, e again, even on this path, she was with Catherine, she just agreed to join us as a merc. Because she still wasn't officially a Knight of Saros, but she still fought alongside them, you know? 
I'm not sure 100% just trying to remember if her support conversations talked about it or anything. But why she specifically decided to leave the Knights. But she clearly wasn't on like terrible terms with them I would say in this path because she was still fighting alongside them. But it's another really interesting thing. It was very surprising to me though that we had her from like chapter 3 or 4 in Golden Wildfire just because she was always kind of introduced as like a duo with you know, Catherine, and then we didn't even see them together except in the one battle. In Gold Modfire, we literally saw Catherine for one fight, and that was the fight she died in. I'm starting to think that we do have to kill Roderick here, though. Which is unfortunate. If we fail this a second time, uh, I'm gonna have to pull up that guy again. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. Like, a lot of these characters don't seem like bad people, but we are in the middle of a war, you know? Not a whole lot to do. Forgive me, Felix. Protect his majesty. And Farkas. Okay. Grant no quarter, huh? All right. I leave to take care of one backup squad and come back Wait. to this. What a mess. Did I mess this up again? I totally messed this mission up again, didn't I? Hold up. Sorry, I think I messed this up again. Hmm. Ah, I feel like I did this the wrong way then. It's saying you have to defeat Rodrig without defeating Byleth, but... Oh... Ooh... If we get the cutscene with Geralt dying again, after we defeat Geralt, we definitely did this the wrong way. Well, that's really awkward. Because I even looked it up and I still... <laughs> I still think I messed it up again. Now granted, I just pulled the page up again. But I looked it up yesterday, but that was still just yesterday. Oops. Oh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry, Gerald. Okay. That makes sense. Um. Yeah. We had done every step correctly up until that point. But yeah, we just we basically just ran in and clapped Byleth real quick. We we're supposed to defeat Roderig without um actually engaging Byleth. So Ooh. That's really awkward. Well sometimes you live and learn. So first try on that one, third try it looks like on this on the second path hopefully i have no idea how we're gonna how it uh works in the knight's path like i was saying i basically have only looked up whatever i felt i absolutely need to know like can i recruit catherine when we killed her such and such but ooh, i feel real dumb about that one <laughs> all right let's do it again <laughs> Now we know that we literally just can't fight Byleth. I just thought we were supposed to force her to retreat and then... This path seems like, like again, on Golden Wildfire, it seemed very, very self-explanatory. As to how you did it. Here, it doesn't really... Like, I had no idea. Even knowing the uh, particular strategy they had. Because if you didn't have that strategy, it's kind of like doing the Church route versus the Empire route. Was if you didn't know before... At least here I can just go back and do it, you know, immediately on the stage. Whereas in the Empire, if you just didn't talk to... If you didn't talk to Edelgard on the correct month to go get that opportunity to, I think it was like, see or become the Emperor pre-time skip. Then when you get to the point where you're supposed to, quote-unquote, choose between Edelgard and Rhea, you don't even get that opportunity. So I don't think it's quite as bad as that. Because literally from that point, if you didn't know, you can't do anything about it, you know? That being said, 
I could very much see how, like, if anyone who just didn't look anything up at all ever, how they wouldn't be able to figure out to rescue. Because you have to have a specific strategy, and it's not as readily apparent that you can that you can just not fight Byleth. You know? Just one of those eh type of things that is interesting. Hmm. Yeah, let's just try and blaze through this this time. It's oh, geez. It's even funnier when the people saying stuff like that. Like, my Kaspar is one of my lowest level units. I think... I'm trying to remember. I think at some point I leveled up every unit up to at least like 15. But that doesn't make level 15 usable. It just means that I didn't know if I'd need him for a paralogue eventually. I'd like to do a couple paralogues today. Do a few support conversations and such. Because we probably need to. <laughs> Jeez. Honestly, though, I feel like Bernadetta matches what most of us would feel on a battlefield. Yeah, I'm just going to hide out over here. It'll be fine. It's terrifying, honestly. Here we go. Alright, he should surrender now. Um, we're going to have to keep in mind. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to leave... Nah. I was going to say, I was considering leaving one of my units at least further back behind instead of using a Shadow Step to go rescue... Uh, What's his name? Randolph and his sister. But it's fine. Um, just because my thought is, Shez is the one we've been sending back, and Shez is strong enough to pretty much instantly do it. And it's not like we were even coming close to using all three. I think that mechanic is so, so nice, though. I, I do think it wasn't as necessary in the first Warriors, because the first Warriors, some of the maps were comparable in size. But I still genuinely just don't think that I was necessary in a lot of those maps. Whereas in this game, there are genuinely times like that where, you know, even shadow stepping and running over there with our strongest unit, sometimes those units get low. So you have to consider that. And it's, yeah, it's tough to say. But it's one of those at the very least quality of life type things that I think they did really well. Like it genuinely to me seems like they did a very good job of thinking through everything that the new warriors could maybe use. And then they just kind of followed through with it. Now then, let's have... Let's see, we attack this Swordmaster particularly. I do think it's only the one enemy attacking each one of these. So, what would I know? I also think it was Paladin, so we could send Edelgard over there too, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure... So we know now that Byleth will get her signature weapon. The Sword of the Creator. I did go out of my way, since we don't need the resources nearly as much to upgrade it. But it's interesting that you can't get the Sword of the Creator on a regular, like, New Game playthrough. It is something that we had to do in New Game Plus. So, just interesting, because I, I spent the entire first Golden Wildfire playthrough wondering why we didn't have it. Aside from, like, the obvious, of course, I recognize that part of the reason we had it was because Byleth was the professor of the monastery, was there. But I still just remember thinking it was odd. That, like, her signature sword wasn't there. To be fair, though, it doesn't seem as though Shez has a very specific signature sword. If we give everyone the, uh, the crests from the DLC things, you can use any of the special weapons that require crests. But even then, it's not been, like, a major thing. Let's go ahead and rescue all of the engineers real quick. But I do really like Edelgard's, uh, kit, though. A lot more than Claude's. And I remember for the little bit that we did get to use Dimitri's, I actually thought it was pretty nice as well. So, just interesting. I I really like the idea of using a, a bow off of Wyvern back or off of a flying mount. I just think that in practice, it does feel really clunky. I had a really, really hard time with um, Claude in our Golden Wyvern playthrough and actually playing him. I do also, to be fair, think that Archers and Warriors games, to me, don't feel the best. I actually, I mean, if you look at our previous playthrough for Fire Emblem, the first Warriors, when we just went back through, almost all the units that are predominantly used were melee units. I think that the weapon art is what makes the mages in this game feel really, really good. It's what makes Lysithia feel awesome to me. It's what makes Dorothy feel okay. I'm not a big fan of Dorothy's meteors, but still helpful. But again, I think that's really what kind of drives them over the top to being pretty good units in this game. Because again, we really didn't use like any uh, ranged units at all before. 
I think the only one that I used a fair amount in the original Warriors was Elise, and that's because Elise was really good for clearing certain stages. But overall, listen, I mean, they're not terrible units, just not my favorite to use. But the archers in this game, we used Shamir for a while, and honestly, it also feels like there's a lot less of a necessity on flying units than there was in the original Warriors, funnily enough. I felt like there were a lot more flying units in Warriors. It might come from the fact that you did fight a lot of, like, every single history mode stage and stuff, it felt like you fought at least one quote-unquote allied unit as an enemy. And it has to be considered, oh, here's where we recruit Yuri. It does have to be considered that a lot of those units are flying. Like Shida, you have Hinoka, uh, Camilla, you know. So a lot of times, and that, and it just felt like there were a lot of flying units. It's not that there aren't any in this game. It's just, I don't, I don't know why. I just genuinely don't feel like it's as much of an issue in this game. Hmm. Yeah. I do think it's interesting. It does make me believe that Yuri will probably be the last of the... Uh, Ashen Wolves that we recruit every single playthrough, based on what I've seen. Could be wrong though, again, there's always the chance, because I think we did, if memory serves, recruit Constance and Happy faster in this route, whereas it was a little bit faster to go ahead and recruit, um, I think we recruited both this first in Golden Wildfire. So there's a chance it's switched up again, or there's a chance that it is just, you know, uh, one of those either the pair or Baltus first. But who knows? Because ultimately, I was under the impression that Baltus was just kind of doing his own thing. Ponce's and Happy were the Empire. And I'm trying to remember, was Yuri always with the Empire? Because when we found Yuri last time, he was also on the stage without Byleth and Gerald. So if that is the case, um... I mean, like I said, Last time we recruited Byleth and Europe from the Empire, this time it was here. It does seem to be just kind of whoever, um, yeah, it does just kind of seem to be whoever is there hiring them, you know. And with the Kingdom, I really doubt, even though they were hired by the Kingdom for a singular battle here, I still really doubt. Yeah, that's messed up though. They cut off the bridge and then just completely cut off uh, Byleth. But yeah, okay. To be fair, they did give us these voice lines, but we just murdered Byleth immediately. No, this is our chance to kill the Ashen Demon. Okay, so there was dialogue here. So on a normal playthrough, you probably wouldn't have been able to just delete Byleth off the face of the planet like we did. So maybe that's it. I just don't know. It's easy to say though that I feel like this is more a little bit more convoluted in recruiting Byleth than the previous one, because we failed twice. But keeping in mind that, now that I'm kind of looking at that, maybe it is just a mistake on my part. It is, probably, but just interesting. Alright. Sorry, Alois. I wonder if this stage just ends after we fight Roderick then? So I gotta say, yeah, just defeat Roderick without accidentally destroying Byleth. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about the side mission if I don't have to. I'm not sure how long it'll take Byleth to show up. Let's wait here for a sec. There we go. Defeating the side mission usually just gives you a bit of extra gold. Alright. Here we go. Oh, he's arrived. What? Looks like Rodriguez is doomed to die no matter what, though. That's pretty sad. I just feel bad when we get rid of people that seem like, even if they're non-playable characters, no matter what the path, as I imagine he is. I just feel bad getting rid of like, oh yeah, the stage just ends there, okay. Um, I do just feel bad for the characters that seem like genuinely decent people. But maybe it's just me. Ah, uh, don't worry, Byleth, we... <laughs> I still just, ugh. Third time's the charm. I wonder if they say the same thing though. Well, our employer's dead, you know. I see no other choice. Victory is ours. Hmm. Friends and loyal soldiers, raise your voices 
He's still just so weird, too. I don't know if anyone else who played Three Houses, then Three Hopes finds it so odd that, um, you know, Edogard is still kind of treating... Yeah, they're treating him like a stranger. This is like the exact same voice line as when we took out Randolph and Blaish. Interesting. Okay, yeah, this is literally just the same. Yeah, okay. Well, obviously it's now Edogard instead of Claude, but again, it's offering employment. Was it merely a business decision? I can't remember what exactly Claude said. Again. That's nice of her to say. Nowadays, though, and that's one thing that Shez does note in their support conversation, was that it literally was just kind of in... Um, in the current day and age, before nobles didn't care at all. Which does kind of show some delight in Edelgard actually being a semi-decent emperor. Because that's something that she did better other than, you know, compared to other previous leaders of the empire. Minus the fact that she started a war. Mm. Yeah. I've already made yeah. my decision. I have sworn it just, to follow this fine captain. I, I don't know. Like again, I get that he was friends with Gerald, but if my old ally Again, Shamir I could see fire, I'll just have to make myself um more being on other sides. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but it just seems <laughs> weird to me. Especially when you consider like <laughs> if I don't slay my father, one was a previous mercenary, but I again, so I, I feel like I'm repeating myself at this point. I have that issue a lot sometimes, but it just seems odd to me. Yeah, but still. Basically just the same thing. Yeah, and I mean, there was the point, too. I can't remember who brought it up that... Obviously, these mercenaries have killed... Oh, we didn't kill enough enemies. Oops. That's fine. I doubt we'll be finishing this path today, so I might go back and do that again. I'm fine with that, though. Honestly, we failed, like, three times. I'd rather just make sure we actually do that stage correctly. Rather than make the mistake again. Because <laughs> it was pretty dang awkward. Why is your and Gerald sick? But again, like, ten renown there. We're pretty much getting enough renown, though, that I think... Yeah. I think we have enough to get, like, Merc Whistles for our last playthrough. We should be able to steam through our third um, path, in theory, as long as we have gold to level up our units, because a lot of the... Hmm. Like, there were just a fair number. There were a fair number of units in the Empire that we hadn't seen before, but I felt like we had at least a few. I know we had Do uh, Dorothy, we had Bernadetta, we had Linhart. Um, I mean, even if it was... I'm trying to think, was there anyone else from the Empire we had previously? We're still going to have the Ashen Wolves at some point. We'll still have Shez. Ideally, Byleth, Geralt. Um, and it makes me wonder, too, if we're, what members we'll get from the Alliance. We'll see. Oh, yeah, we had Petra as well. So we had a good, like, half of the Empire's house before we joined here. That are at a decent level. Whereas, again, we only have two knights right now. I really like that Jiro just kind of tries to encourage Byleth to socialize, too. Just, uh, very wholesome. Yeah, again, like, it is genuinely, like, unironically. Oh, I forgot that. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just realized... I forgot to save on a different save file, so if I do want to see what happens in every path that we kill Gerald, uh... Ooh... Awkward. It's fine. Yeah. No, I don't think it's that. Hmm. It's still funny to me, though, that... Yeah, I was gonna say, Edelgard seems like a bit of a better employer than... Claude, because from what I could tell, Edelgard did kind of help take care of Shez for the two years that they spent in the Empire. 
because whereas again like clock we literally found out we worked like odd jobs guarding like random inns i think it was she has mentioned and such in the two years that we went to the alliance because clock kind of just hung us out to dry it makes me wonder on the kingdom path as well will dimitri look after us for those two years during the two-year time skip or is he just going to be like oh by the way i need your help now because clearly we in both paths we've done so far we hadn't seen like anyone else in the two-year time skip but if Shez had a direct line to Claude saying, like, no word for you for two years, and she didn't, that I remember in this path, maybe he does too. After all, he is the knights. It's like the knight group. You would think if anyone would take care of their, like, friendos, it would probably be them. House Dominic, one of the ten elites. Oh, I feel like he's gonna die. I think he was a playable character in Three Houses. Yeah, Gustav. You cannot force the relic onto mm. Annette. Calm mm -hmm. yourself. I've merely bade her wield it. Mm -hmm. Not relic. Off into the teeth of the enemy. Interesting. It's all right, Father. I know I'm the only one who can do this. Okay. Just seeing the crest of Dominic, Dominic and our hero's relic is going to. Oh, okay, so it's probably the family's happen. crest and relic. It shames me huh. to thrust this task on you. When it should have fallen to that craven son of mine. Baron Dominic. So that's the Baron yes, of the I family. Interesting. The relic, considering how quickly he this us. makes me feel like there's maybe death it flags for Annette as well. Yes. Ooh. That's rough. I already felt really bad that we killed Ingrid. So. I was hoping more of the people from the Knight's house, you know, didn't just keel over and die in this path. Again, this is the Empire path. We are the one who started the war, but... Jeez. After all, this is nothing compared to what the soldiers are going through at the front. So yeah, many fair. people are fighting and dying out there. Some of them my good friends. You stop the store, Father, though he's I'm worried about her. Power and safety while they struggle. Especially when I'm in the best position to help. Forgive me, mm -hmm. Annette. If you sense any danger at all, I'm genuinely curious though if Rhea dies on every single path still. I couldn't bear Seems kind of likely to me, all things considered, since even Dimitri, again, even Dimitri was agreeing the church isn't doing things the right way, but Dimitri's thought was just, A, his hands are tied, that's the kingdom, he needs to help protect the, um, the Church of Zeros and Rhea and such. But at the same time, he said personally he did agree. But he just wanted to do more gradual change, which clearly wasn't going to work. Because I would take that's the kind of change that you would think in this kind of world base would take generations, which would mean it'd take generations of people willing to work at it. And honestly, even though they'd be raising their potential future heirs and such, it doesn't really seem to me like the vast majority of nobles share that sentiment. And honestly, I feel like a good number of the even, you know, our good friends from the houses might potentially be steered towards that argument just because they're fighting alongside these three current members. You know, Claude, Edelgard, and Dimitri. What's to say if it wasn't a more harsh, you know, nonchalant about the normal people type of leaders for the Empire Alliance and Kingdom, if a lot of these people would have had that chance to even take that stance. Because again, Edelgard's whole point, and same with Claude, was like, let's get rid of the royalty, let's let everyone just actually work towards things. So... Just some interesting thoughts, though. As for me, you know what to do. Just put me right at the front and let me start wrecking. I thought it was interesting, though. Like, we shall see who does more. Just cool to see how all these characters kind of I will not be letting you say things like Kaspar made it very clear we did a C ring support conversation, and he made it very clear that part of the reason he's so eager to fight is because he's a second son. So because he doesn't feel like he's. <laughs> He just feels the need to distinguish himself on battle because he's not as uh, inclined towards things like politics or diplomacy, other forms that he could excel. But other things like that, Bernadetta doesn't really want to be on the front lines, just all that stuff. Overall, I still really, really like Shez. I think she'd actually be a really cool character to put in uh, Smash if they're going to put another Fire Emblem character. Because inevitably... They put a ton of Smash characters in Smash. I've heard that Corrin might not be in the next one as well because Corrin's been... Much as I like the design of uh, Corrin, I don't think that Corrin was ever very popular in that game. So, we'll see. But she has this dual wield style and such I think is really, really cool. 
So I wonder if that's a possibility. Hmm. Alright, what have we got? Brilliant idea. What? Might as well do this. I don't know if we'll be selling any items, but we don't need any more materials to expand our other grounds. So, it doesn't hurt. Alright, but as always, I know we have a ton of support conversations. Real quick, though. I'm trying to remember if our sword is... Yeah, Mercurius plus 30. I'm pretty sure that is weaker than the current sword of Zoltan, but... Oh yeah, it is actually stronger. I wasn't sure how far it upgraded the Sublime Creator Sword. That means that she should also be able to get... Let's see, so she has a advanced light magic sword. Sublime Heaven is a sword skill. Okay, we'll do that then. Slice apart the Sarai. Oh, it's an AoE. And it'll increase magic. So we might need to start giving magic to... To Byleth. Luckily though, as with most of the units we recruited, they already... Uh, she's already at her max kind of affinity level, so. Doesn't make a huge difference. I'm curious how many people we have mastered. Once a couple more units finish out, I might put Byleth in here and use it as well for affinity. Because I'm curious to see what Byleth has to say to a lot of the students now that she's no longer their professor. And she is just kind of a run-of-the-mill mercenary. But for this chapter, I won't worry about it. I usually just try and get rid of all the training points at once. Just don't think it's that important to worry about. Alright, there we go. Um, a fair number of people have mastered. Uh, we are a rank affinity with Edo Guard, so you know what? Let's do... I mean, they're also mastered, but let's see. Mastery A with us, Hubert and Hart. Interesting. Um... Why not do shooters? Maybe I should be doing... Again, I've been thinking maybe I should be working on characters that don't necessarily have... That we're not going to have another pass for affinity, but it doesn't actually bother me that much. Let's see, though. Are there any other classes we need to acquire? I'm just going to double check one more time because I don't remember. Yeah. War Master for him. There we go. Uh, Bernadetta, Remy, Dancer. Anyone that we had in other past is probably already maxed out, yeah. Mercedes. That's nice. So we'll have a Bow Knight and a Gremory going immediately into the next path. And they'll be decently leveled as well, so. Should just be helpful. Dark Knight, Warmaster, Freakon, Gremory. Trickster is not. Oh, no, it is, okay. Mr. Gremory. I think that should be everyone. Do we have Yuritsa in here as well? Because I want to make sure we have a maxed out Death Knight. Yeah, okay. Because I believe there's an achievement always for maxing out a unit of each class for the first time. And I don't think it's considered the Death Knight class otherwise. Alright. Let's just do some of this. It's easiest to raise Byleth's affinity with other units that, um... You know, naturally will be doing volunteer work with them. Kind of thing about like other characters. I'm kind of curious what happened to Leone because Leone is so attached to Byleth and Gerald that if we're not in her original house like we were last time, it does make me wonder, you know, how much, you know, if she's going to show up on the other two paths after we've recruited like Byleth and Gerald or what's going on because she's one of the characters in the alliance that I don't think we actually even saw. So, just another one of those interesting things that I wonder. Hmm. All right, then. But as always, like, it's a little tedious going through all these points. That's why I kind of, once we get to the end, I just sometimes skip it. But, eh. Because in the long run, not only we're doing this every chapter, but I'm making so many more support conversations for myself. We all must do our fair to make yourself useful. But maybe eventually. I mean... There's a chance I do just start skipping them at some point. It just... Uh, they're nice and all. I think they did a really good job with all the support conversations. But it does get to a point where it's just kind of tedious doing it. As always, I will probably save at least one energy in case there's an expedition unit that we really want. A lot of times I feel like we have ended up just kind of wasting that. But it just kind of depends. You never know. Hmm. I'll try this. 
Beta Guard and Bernadetta. Yeah, we're gonna have so many support conversations again. But maybe we'll do a pair log or two. I am really curious to see if the uh, one with, let's see, Raphael, I think it's Ignatz and Lawrence, is actually still the same. Because the description makes me think it's the same mission, in which case we might just clear that real quick and skip the story. Did we go visit the owl? We did not, okay. Free feather, there's always nice, but let's burn through a few support conversations here. It's always a probably clear at our person ones first. Here we go, it's Monica. Probably still being jealous of us interacting with Ado Card. <laughs> Interesting. Mm. Her Majesty refrained from drinking tea today. That or she's just discussing habits with us again. I believe the last time that happened okay. was 15 days ago. Ergo, that is terrifying. She tends to I get that she like idolizes Edogard. Remind me why I'm doing this again. It's still just a bit odd. What's the point of recording all this stuff? Mm. Why not just hang out with her? It is not stuff. These are her majesty's ah. great exploits. Sure. They must be accurately recorded and preserved within the annals of Imperial. Is she actually recording everything? Not sure I'd call her tea habits great exploits. Mm. No one's ever gonna need that information. Yeah. And how do you remember all this? <laughs> I couldn't even tell you what I had for breakfast this morning. Fair enough. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. <laughs> I remember everything Her Majesty does. That's one of those things that like word she has ever spoken to me. Uh, it's not probably not a good idea for she has to suggest that Monica tell to guard this stuff because it's kind of creepy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe she'd think it was a little bit sweet. You never know, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, why do you say that? These are simply records that need to be kept. Just think about it for a minute. Have you ever read a book on Adrestian history that lists the number of times an emperor yeah. sighed? There has never been a historian <laughs> with a memory like mine. Nor one uh, it's a historian. I'd imagine there were quite a few, actually. No offense to Monica, but that's kind of their job. That her Majesty's great exploits are documented properly. But if your memory's so good, then there's no reason for me to help, is there? That's a good point. Oh, but there is. Oh. Her Majesty places a great deal of confidence. She wants a wingman. She often engages you in conversation. An <laughs> in an insufferable amount of time. We are one of the commanders of one of her units. As such, you know, at the very least, we're the leader of the mercenary squads. I not otherwise verify on my own. There is nobody more qualified than you to assist me in this undertaking. Jeez. All right, fine. I get that you're serious about all this. Yeah, I don't mind if nothing else, she, she is serious about it. Spoken like a true confidant of her majesty. How dependable of you. <laughs> it's no wonder she trusts you more and more each day. Even if it is maddening. And so, the time has come for me to grant you a very special privilege. Mm. I will permit you to devote yourself to her majesty. As a sign of your undying love. What? Why would I want permission to do that? <laughs> yeah, I feel like... Well, <laughs> Jeez. There is no greater pursuit in all of Fodland than expressing one's is there, undying love for her majesty. Is there? I don't know. I could think of a few things. I actually don't mind this so particular good. version of Edogard compared to three houses, even though it's not that different. Very well. But, you know, I'm still not mm, not a fan. No thanks, Monica. However, I am confident you will come to your senses. We could always just stop assisting her if she's going to be like this. <laughs> One day you will ascend. Ascend, and oh. Admirer of Her Majesty. Uh, yeah. Do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just like, I feel like, again, most of these conversations ended up being pretty wholesome, and then there's that one. That was, uh. Mm. Yeah, that was interesting. Now I'm kind of curious to see what she has to say to other people. So we just have Hubert. I mean, she's probably really jealous of you, but if she's jealous of us for spending too much time with Edelgard, surely she's even more jealous of her literal right hand man. You are, Hubert. I have been searching everywhere for you. It'd be interesting. And to what end? Has Her Majesty summoned me? Hmm. Oh, she would never use me for a task like that. Interesting. I just wanted to thank you. Oh, okay. Albeit reluctantly. I 
do not recall having done anything that would merit such well, a... Well, Hubert, like, genuinely, I do think that the version of Hubert in Three Hopes as well is... I don't know if I'd say as like, I mean, likable, but I don't mind the Hubert in Three Hopes as much as I did in Three Houses. He had the chance to look at it. I woke up in a panic when I realized what I had done. Imagine how mortified I was to see you'd already corrected everything. Oh, okay. Yes. I may have done something. But that is also kind of his job. As Her Majesty's loyal servant, it is my duty to pare down the number of unnecessary matters which wander across her desk. I must say, okay. I was surprised to see you make such a foolish and obvious error. <laughs> have you truly grown so lax? Oh my gosh. As you style yourself she came here to finally be like, you know what? Much as I want to be the most important person to Edelgard, I'm still going to thank you. And he just calls her out like that. <laughs> Jeez. Well, perhaps I said it once or twice in the heat of the moment, but I never actually meant it. If anyone is Her Majesty's best retainer, oh, okay, she's actually admitting that. Yeah, that is true. House Vestra say so. I could never become one of her servants. Oh. At present, I very much doubt you are fit to serve as Her Majesty's servant. <laughs> he's just like he's not holding anything back. I did not make a conscious choice to serve Her Majesty at first. Instead, oh, that's I interesting. Because my father so he didn't choose to serve Edelgard by his own decision. Such bounds no longer define yeah. our relationship. That's one of those things. It's easier, even if you were forced to do it at first. If he grew to like Edelgard, you know, actually appreciates being like one of her big retainers and such. That's better than hating it the entire time. Both for him and for Edelgard. I want to be like that with Her Majesty as well. Yeah. But I am only the child of a baron. So I don't have excuses to linger in the palace all the time. Yeah, that's I have fair. to return to my family's estate once I've fulfilled my duties for the day. And I get summoned back to our territory often. Well, it's not bad that you have other I duties. I just, cannot mm. just be at her side unless I have a good reason to be there. Oh, indeed. <laughs> he just <laughs> Fox territory is in the far west of the <laughs> Empire. I oh my gosh. You had to spend much of your time he is holding nothing back. Furthermore, you will be a baron one day. Oh, okay. Your duties will prevent you from dedicating mm. yourself solely to Her Majesty. Yeah, that's fair. Exactly. Unlike you, I have an entire territory's worth of people to protect, but I still won't give yeah, up. Yeah, maybe, but eh. Even from afar. No. Precisely because I'll be afar, there will be things I can do to protect uh -huh. Her Majesty. In fact, always being at her side might actually cause you to overlook threats from time to time. Oh my gosh. Does it have to be a competition? That is mm. a promising thought. Hubert very clearly just cares about Edelgard, so I think he could obviously appreciate that, but th does it have to be a competition? You know, like, really? We have quite a few. Let's see. Okay, so she has one with Dorothy right now. It does seem probably like there is a lot more support conversations at first just because you're going to have that dot to dot for both sides of it. But Isn't still. It a bit late to be studying, Dorothea? Hi there, Edie. Looks like I'm not the only one burning mm -hmm. the midnight oil. You should get to bed. All-nighters are the bane of clear skin, you know. Oh, okay. I assume that also applies to you. Yeah, I was going to say one's the emperor and the other's a diva, so. You all work so hard. There is that. I should dedicate myself to my studies. Especially when it comes to strategy oh, and tactics. Okay. Those are real blind spots. She's trying to brush up and become more useful in wartime. Had a chance to learn them if we'd remained at the officers' academy. Yeah, yeah. I suppose you missed out on all sorts. It's interesting though, because we did spend the better part of a year in three houses at the academy. Eighty, please. Whereas again, here we were pulled away, especially on this particular path. We were pulled away from the officers' academy. It felt like after like no more than two months. We had like the one mission. It was like it was very very quick. It was noticeable. You did what you thought was right. Mm -hmm. And anyway, it's not like any of us saw all these problems with the kingdom and alliance coming. Uh, Edelgard definitely did, but, uh, because she was planning on starting a war two years ago. No. I admit I may have been a little sad mm -hmm. when the academy went on hiatus. I mean, yeah. I worked my tail off to get into that place. It was hard. Uh, really hard. Sometimes oh, life derails your plans. Shutdown? Where went my best chance of finding Mr. Wright? Or miss. Yeah. I knew it was upsetting you. I think Dorothy is one of the marriage options that you can 
go with if you're a female body with, if I remember correctly. I think Edelgard is... was Edelgard one? I think Edelgard was one as well. I'm trying to think who else was. I think there was at least one from Every Kingdom. Nope. Maybe, but... <laughs> For what it's worth, I'm glad you're free of that torment, and can now work towards building the world you envision. I like yeah, this new we're trying. Under you. It suits me. That's wholesome. Please don't say that. The part about you working under me, I mean. Mm. I like to think we work side oh, by side okay. and hand in hand. That's fair. I was gonna say. I mean, it's, it's still probably not inaccurate, but I consider you a that's fair. Friend. And I say that not just as the emperor, but as a peer. Okay. Thanks, Sadie. Do you mind if I take that and run with it? <laughs> Dorothea, dearest friend of the Emperor, oh has a really nice ring to it. Yeah. Once the war's over, I just use that as a... Dorothea, the mystical songstress. You go back to being a diva for an opera company eventually. Dignity thing going use that as a part of a reputation. Why not? Case, allow me to meet you dearest friend of the songstress. I shall be known That's nice. Oh my gosh. Dearest friend of the dearest friend of the songstress. Jeez. Well, we certainly can't have that. How about okay. you just promise not to be a stranger? Hmm. Which to be fair, like when we were with the Alliance, Dorothy very clearly was just kind of with her opera company. Same with Manuela and was Hanuman there as well? I want to say he was too, if I remember correctly. He just didn't become playable. But it's interesting. Let's do one more. Maybe do Mercedes just because we didn't. Oh, she has two with Kaspar. Maybe not then. Hubert with Lenard. Okay. Both of them have greenish hair. Clear for Never mind. Empire. Hubert's hair is black. I'm just dumb. Awkward. I'm sure they guess who stole the show yet again. Our mercenary yeah. friend. Oh, they're talking about us. Force upon the battlefield. That one. Their approach on the battlefield is exceptional. Yet their curious power has also proved... I'd imagine it was, but the hilarious thing is we really don't ever use Awakening. Fascinating, isn't it? So we Something really just don't see it that often. It's not that we haven't had opportunities. We had Awakening from very early on that last mission. Multiple times. But my main issue is you can't switch out characters once you've used Awakening until you use the final attack. Which isn't... A bad thing by any means. You get extra drops, you get all that extra stuff. It's very good for farming, which I do use it when I'm off stream when I have it. But honestly, just not. And hard. Uh, we can't do anything about it. I'm leaving. But no. To be fair, there is consistency there though. Until we kind of mention the chance of, well, what if the sword changed and such? Linhart very clearly didn't have. Yeah, Linhart didn't really have any interest in our power. If you want me to investigate a specimen, go ahead. Book it and reel it in. <laughs> uh -huh. But you are the better angler of the two of us. Is he? Furthermore, my method of hooking would... Ah, yeah. That's fair. So Hubert doesn't really have the whole tact of, Hey, let's talk this out and test it out. Linhart would probably make it seem a little bit more... Well, this is becoming a maybe less aggressive. Push yourself to learn some new hooking strategies. <laughs> like, I don't know, one befitting the involving fancy tea, he says. Involving fancy tea, perhaps. A positively hair raising notion. <laughs> Please do not speak it aloud. <laughs> then maybe get in their face. And oh my gosh. You two could I don't think that's how it works either. Friends. Me to shout myself hoarse and swing my fists about <laughs> Linhart's very clearly just trying to give him some dumb excuse, some stupid suggestion just so he can get away and probably go relax. Then the only option left is aggressive Oh my gosh. Driven home at the point of an axe. It's interesting though that Huber would actually again, I guess there's support conversations with virtually everyone at least one. But just interesting. Oh my gosh. I didn't have anyone particular in mind. I was just <laughs> brainstorming new methods to ensnare our illustrious mercenary friend. Why? Did they remind you of acquaintances of ours? <sighs> in any event, 
Cheese. I do not dislike conversing with you, but we seem to procure okay. results of little benefit when we. It's nice that he said, you know, I at least like talking with you. And with that, I have matters to attend to and must be off. Farewell. Hey, okay. bye, Hubert. Until next time, Hubert. So when can I expect you to have reeled in our mercy? To be fair, at this point, you technically already kind of had when we uh during the mission where we rescued uh Edelgard from getting shot by Shamir. Still not sure why, aside from the fact that it's a video game, why none of them wear helmets, but, you know, there is that. Jeez. Edogard, like, it's not that Edogard isn't a schemer, but honestly, Hubert, just like, if there's somebody in the Empire that really fits that bill, it's gotta be Hubert. By the way, do we have any... Now that we know, we probably do need to be raising magic. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we have some. Magic's at 59. I mean, our highest magic far and away is obviously Lysithia. Um, we're at 88 strength. We'll go ahead and keep raising Byleth. Even if we won't have Byleth for the predominant, like if it's 16 chapters again, which I'm assuming every path is the same length. Um, I would still like to raise Byleth. Oh, by the way, I did find out... Um. We can't... I don't know if we are ever going to get the chance to use our... Uh, ooh, there's a good amount of gold there. I don't give, we, know if we'll ever get the chance to use them in the story, but Arvel, Ser, uh, Rhea, and Sothis we can use. We I've just only been able to use them on like the records hall when we're redoing stages. It doesn't appear that we can do them on the first try, which makes a lot of sense. Again, it would make sense story-wise for us to have them, but still. Hmm. Oh, uh, we're still looking for his father too. If we are lucky, he will be not but a corpse by the wayside. I know that sounds cruel, but frankly, eh, that's fair. Ferdinand did just know. Like at this point, it's very clear. Yeah. Poor Ferdinand. But... I mean, given that it's like a medieval times series, he's kind of lucky that he's not also being held accountable for the family's betrayal. But he has mentioned, though, he just wants his father to at least have a fair trial. The problem is, I think... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's also fair. But the issue is, if he gets a fair trial, I think we all know how it's going to end, including him. Yeah. Yeah. Starting a war is never going to be a popular decision. And I think Shez does a good job of kind of noting that. I think it was in her conversation with Claude. Just kind of noting that, you know, to be fair, if she had been like a normal farmer or something like that, that's having their fields trampled or such, they're just going to hope that the war ends as soon as possible. They don't care about all the noble changes and such. I don't think that's true, but fair. Yeah. I believe we all deserve a second chance. In any case. Why didn't we just get that? Oops. I almost wish they did prop the man up. Mm. Because perhaps then. Interesting. But no. Either way, it seems I will have to start taking more serious precautions. Yeah, probably. I only hope he can settle things with his father in one manner or the other. Mm. Just as I did. See, as evil sounding as Hubert always seems, see, like, genuinely seems to want the best for his friend, which is honestly not a bad thing. Let's see. We could do that. No, it's fine, Bernadette. I don't think we'll be selling items a whole lot, so we'll go ahead and do that. Again, we're just going to skip straight to that, but I was just going to do this, collect the resources and such, and then do a couple paralogs, and then we'll move on, just so we're not doing them all at the end, because again... Our last stream was literally right before we started, right before this, but we had to do all our support conversations and paralogs, and it ended up taking quite some time. More resources. I remember when we were so excited to get all these extra resources, and now it literally does not make a difference. Uh, Comet Art level search. Let's actually do that with her. Okay, it raised Ash. I was curious if it would raise Sublime Heaven. Hmm. Fine. There we go. Back to camp real quick. 
collector supplies. I don't think it's as important to be collecting the supplies every single time they're full now, but it's still helpful. It's still basically just stockpiling for smithing stones, if nothing else. And we're getting, like, cooking ingredients and such. Lawrence wants to go, you know. Yeah, first things first with the pair logs. I was thinking we'll do two or three here. I wanted to see if this one right here is the exact same thing. Because if it is, we're just going to hurry through it. I'm still curious. So I know right now I have a rusted weapon that we can make into a hot clary. Which is Minerva's signature weapon. From... Yeah, this is the same. Um, which is Minerva's Axe from the original Fire Emblem with Mars Story. We can obviously get Parthia, Mercurius, which makes me think we'll eventually be able to get Gravitus. Just a few interesting things. Honestly, I'm not super... We've already done this mission entirely. I don't remember if we get the exact same rewards in terms of S-Rings and such, but I might just kind of hurry through this stage. Not a big concern to me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same mission. Interestingly enough, I think this... <laughs> oh, I love Chez. I actually... Oh my gosh. No, I really do love Chez, though. He just blatantly tells him, Yeah, if you shut... If you just, you know, shut up, we can land you, launch a surprise attack. Yeah, I remember, at least from our previous playthrough, the lowest level unit we had by the end was 35. So, there is that. I think that the highest level paralog we had was Lysithias, though, which wasn't obviously a concern for us. But I think that was like level 40, mid-40s-ish. So by that logic, I think we're actually okay to... Uh, honestly, like, it's just hard, because again, I want to make sure that we level if no one else... Obviously our main units, and then maybe Ash and Ignots, because I have a feeling we're going to have to use them, but we'll see. I don't remember what Raphael's piece good, uh, or not even, but that first weapon art that we use, because he clearly preps something, I just don't know what he does. And I could check, but I just mm, not been the biggest fan of fist weapons. I did try Gaspar a little bit out when I was, um doing my in-between, like, grinding. Uh, as I do with basically every time. I just try out some of the characters, see what their kits are like, and not been a huge fan of the fist weapons in this game. I think that it was cool that they posed a new weapon synergy type thing with three houses that didn't really exist before, to my knowledge. But I can't say that in this particular game I enjoyed a whole lot. Mm. Yeah, this is literally just the same paralog where, uh, for some reason we're in Gloucester territory. Yeah. Which is interesting just given that we are, you know, currently with the Empire. So you wouldn't think even if we're allies that we could just freely go through Gloucester territory, but eh. Maybe I should have sent... Oh, I didn't actually send Raphael there. Maybe I should have sent a mounted unit to this far one over here, but it probably doesn't make a difference. Yep, yep. Hmm. But it's just kind of Lauren's admitting that his father had an indirect, you know, influence in the loss of his family. Which is... Yeah... I just remember Lauren's specifically, not Lauren's, um, Raphael just basically saying, no, he didn't care. Which is really honest of him. And at that point, he'd already clearly moved on. That's one of those things where he'd already found closure about it, and I think that's what the point was. Not that obviously he maybe wishes he didn't know before, but once you've already found closure, it's not exactly like you want those old wounds to keep being dredged up. Yeah, we gotta hurry over to this thief, though. This thief is running really bad. Yeah, we probably should have sent one of the mounted units to this really far away thief. Let's we attack really fast. Nice, nice. Take a breather. Pay attention. 
Captain Lawrence? You keep staring off into space. Some bandit's gonna run up and cock you on the head. Yes, of course. This might have been I feel like this is one of the couple of stages that we did accidentally fail because we weren't paying attention. I might be wrong though. Yeah, I feel like this is one of the stages that we Maybe I'm wrong. Alright. Here I go, Sarah. There right. we go, okay. Nothing these muscles can't do. Now it's a Lawrence attack turn. that one. There is nothing I cannot do. Raphael, our Ignatz, I mean, well. attack here. And we'll go take care of the one in the center here. Route in mind? We're going the wrong way though. Yeah, I think we might have accidentally let one of the thieves reach the evacuation point if memory serves. Again, we've restarted a fair number of stages just because we didn't want to let certain people die or at least see if it was possible. But as far as actually like full on failing a stage, I don't think we've done it that often. It's awkward when it happens, but I don't think it's been a huge issue. Yeah, uh, mounted units. I really thought mounted units were going to be crazy strong in this game, but for example, like Hilda doesn't have the same initial like dashing into strong B flip smash that Mila has and Minerva have in the original Warriors, and that was the main, literally the main reason that we use them. <laughs> Doesn't this guy show up in like the main courtyard? One of the thieves did, okay. Right. I don't think they try to escape here. I'm just gonna have Shez run through and clean all of them up though, honestly. I was curious how they were going to treat all the Alliance members though, since, again, I don't think the Federation is going to form, from the looks of things, unless, I don't think they've mentioned it forming, unless I really, really have missed it, which really does make me think that it literally doesn't happen unless, you know, um, you're on the Golden Wire Fire Path. Love Ralph, I'll slowly take one of those, but I'm going to deal with the other thieves. Oh, that's a side mission too. We don't even have to do it. It is nice though that I leveled some of these units before the paralogue. I did find out, I remember with the Ashen Wolves one, that if you do have four units, you do still get to use Shez. It just becomes a backup unit. Which is really nice, honestly. Because that would have been really rough. Because um, that's kind of the bailout point you've always had for a lot of these stages is even if you have to use certain units in the paralogs, you can still go to it just using your main characters. <laughs> Alright, let's send the Shez over to take care of that last thief over here. Where are they? There we go. And we'll keep moving forward. Yeah, if this is the case too, I might just do the paralogs that are repeats on a uh, off stream. If we get some in our last path, it really just depends on who's recruitable, I'd suppose. But I just jeez, <laughs> okay. Nobles tired of beating us up yet. Traitorous nobles. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it was because um kinda got stabbed in the back, which is fair, honestly. I remember watching this paralog and being like, oh they actually had a valid reason for being angry. <laughs> it's always awkward. Interesting. 
That should be the... Yeah, that's the end of the stage. Okay. Let's maybe do one more paralogue here and then keep going. To understand what has transpired here. I was giving you a chance to explain, you know. We won. This is one of those moments where knowing the truth, you'd really think that Lawrence would try and fix things. I must speak with the bandits we captured. Right then, I'll take it. Nice. Western mercenary. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we already had that mercenary group. If I'm not mistaken. Chess has only gained like a couple levels this entire playthrough though. Funnily enough. Gold is nice. That'll let us level up for other paralogs as well. And again, I'd like to have a stockpile before we move into the third route. Just because aside from Dimitri, I mean... Gonna need some help with that probably. Right, but what other paralog do we want to do? So we have... These two, that's kind of an odd pairing, odd grouping, I mean. 32, 32, 20. Well, let's do one of the 27s, maybe. Um, I think my Manuela is like level 6, or maybe she, no, I think I raised her to 15 like everyone else, but let's just do, why not, we'll do Monica and Bernadetta. That's always nice sometimes. Immediately gets boggled though. I wasn't doing anything, I swear. I'll take that as a yes. Who is this dude again? Listen, there's a small matter that needs interesting to handling. So I'm gathering up anyone who's available. Which mm. as of right now is I, the three of us. Do you think they did a good job with some of these paralogs though? Because before it's usually like based around like I don't know, in fades and awakening, I felt like it was mostly just based around the child units. So it's kind of just different. Oh, we're going in a cave. Well, you don't know. You didn't have to say that, Chez. <laughs> to be fair, though, you probably don't want to be using a bow and arrow in a cave. Although apparently everybody in Fire Emblem is just a godly archer, so. Jeez. someone else you can ask? This is my day off. It's funny day. Actually, mm. nearly everyone else is off seeing to one task or another at the moment. Yeah. That is kind of, I think, what they've said, though, in a lot of these. is either it's something personal for certain people, like Balthus and Holst, or the Ashen Wolves. Or, oh, let's do Gareth. Um. Or it's one of those, like, well, everybody else is dealing with other things. Oh, okay. Really? I guess I should be thanking you for keeping us safe then. That's nice. Uh, not so. In fact, it is very much I who am indebted to her and her considerable talents. Wonder if her mother is also an archer. I think that's enough introductions for now. We need to get this show on the road, remember? Quite right. Uh, Bernadette, let me get you up to speed. Two years ago. Okay. I was attempting to recover the lost letters of Jerome. Isn't that um? But a suspicious personage. Seemingly I think we've my efforts had that relic before, haven't we? Circle. They were likely working for Lord Arundel. In a related note, hmm. someone attached themselves to my father, Baron Ox, during the time I went missing. My investigation into that person led me to do Garrett's inner circle. Uh -huh. Wasn't she missing for like a year or two? I'm surprised we don't really... I almost feel like they put Kronia in the story, just for the sake of putting Kronia in the story. <laughs> Because we really didn't see her after the time skip, I think the entire Golden Wide Fire path. But to our knowledge, I don't think we saw her die. Just interesting. Seems like it. Yeah. No, I don't want to be mean to Bernadetta. Oh, okay, well, that's... Yeah. 
as we will strike a mighty blow against any who would threaten our empire and her majesty. Mm -hmm. And as I fear I'm not much of a fighter, I will okay. be depending greatly on you all. To be fair, wasn't he... I feel like this guy was either an enemy or a um, allied unit in some missions. Alright, so any allied unit is routed. Okay, yeah, we can't even use him. 15... So we'll probably just have Monica defend then. 1500 enemies, 12 minutes. Not too bad. There's a very high chance that we just use Shez this entire battle. <laughs> is this true? But, yeah, we'll have Monica just defend him. I am here to aid you. That's I not... yeah. He's not super strong, but... It's better to have a unit, I think, easily accessible to it than to not have any units that are. But this is a level 27 mission. All of our other pair logs are either level 27 or lower, so yeah. Bernadetta we send to the furthest board for sure. Make sure that we clear all the enemies along the way though. If we have to... A lot of times these missions are longer than you would think. But... Generally speaking, I mean, the sooner you get the enemies done, the better, you know. Hmm. It is interesting, though, because I remember Camilla having the special skill Trample that made you do extra damage to foot soldiers. But in the previous Fire Emblem Warriors, that was never really a problem because it felt like you almost always one-shot them anyways. Whereas in this game, it actually seems like something that isn't always consistent, so it's actually helpful to- it would be helpful, sorry, to have that kind of skill, and we don't have it here. Kind of ironic, actually. She's already made it too. <laughs> I am concerned, though, for when we have the missions where it's like just Black Eagles or just Knights that we only have at like really low level. Because on Dorothy's mission, I think that was a level 32, or was it the other 27? But you also have to consider that we do still have... What is that behind us? We do still have kind of the ability to work around the fact that, um... You know, Dorothy is like level 40 plus and we still have Shez. But I do think Manuela is also only like level 15. I know we can use Shamir's uh, right trigger skill as well, but I just really like Lysithia's on Chess. Both of our main skills, which I have kind of looked through the other skills, these are my favorite two to use. Um, Rocket, that little, it's that purple like smoke stuff on knockback. Very, very helpful. Yes, this should be the strongholds as we sit in that we're only at about a third of what we need actually so that's actually kind of concerning i get that there's the entire bottom half of the map but i feel like we've mostly cleared out every enemy too so for us to only be at the how are we looking at time? yeah time is never an issue i still wonder too if you capture a fort without defeating every enemy inside of it does it still give you credit for all the enemies there some of these like bases if it doesn't, then it's actually kind of bad, I'd say. Also, what happened to fighting in a cave? Wasn't the entire point of like, oh, maybe we shouldn't bring an archer because we're going to be fighting in a cave? Am I, am I missing something here? Is the bottom half a cave? There's the caves. Looks like we have to go this way, maybe. Oh, there is a cave here. Okay. Oh, it's this map. Isn't this the map that we recruited Byleth on the first time? I feel like it is, actually. That or it's a very similarly laid out one. Interesting. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, the forts seem to, like, respawn enemies a lot, too. So if you were ever... I feel like they've done a good job with making sure that's not usually an issue. But I think if you were ever in a point where you had to farm enemies, you could just not kill the fort captain in a few of these areas. And then just kind of run around and do your own thing. Which is nice. Because that is sometimes an issue in the old warriors where if you want to hit... Because it was basically always 2k enemies. Um, if you're ever in a point, sometimes it really did just feel like you were running around just trying to find some enemies. 
but here though, I mean, I'm a little concerned because we're only at 700 or so KOs, and I don't actually think our other units have killed that many here. Uh, why is... Hold up. Maybe we just have Bernadetta also defend. Who cares? That is some loud lightning. Okay, let's just make sure we clean up as many of these enemies as well. Yeah, maybe, but immediately after she says that, they just <laughs> Bernadette's like, maybe I should empathize with these people because they also just want to stay in these caves and not bother anyone. Immediately. <laughs> Jeez. We should be using this, actually. Just to cover a wide area. Keep moving. How close are we on? Another 500? Yeah, we're only two-thirds of the way there. Hmm. And this is one of the paralogs that I don't think we'll be able to do on another path because it directly involves Monica, so... Hmm. How are they doing, by the way? Are there enemies by them? They're probably fine. I don't think I ever changed Bernadetta's skills, actually. What does that circle do? Is that a trap? Hmm. That's probably fine. Okay. I'm a little concerned about them just going straight for the Duke, because... Bernadetta wasn't doing a whole lot of damage there. And, again... Our uh, Monica's like level 15, so she's not actually going to be any help. There we go, though. Alright, alright. Nice. Oh, they're all the way up uh, back on this path. I'm just going to... It's not a huge warp, but I'm just going to do this. Might as well. I don't think I've had a single stage that I've ever actually used the entirety of those teleports. So, should be helpful. Two characters into the upper. Oh, okay. Oh, was it a bad suggestion? Oh, we got rid of the mysterious mage. Feel like they're about to get ambushed. Hmm. We're out of weapon art points, though. Okay. Oh my gosh, yeah, we gotta get over there. It's fine, Bernadetta. Okay, we're almost there on enemies as well. Not really her fault. I mean, even if Monica recognized it, I. It literally is just like a tucked away corner you'd think it'd be, you know? Decent place to hide. Alright, here we go. Take them all out in one fell swoop. Can I do it? Alright, perfect. I mean, we've only taken out about, you know, 1500. You would hope. Nice and nothing. Head up here. Alright. We almost have A bar again, too. I didn't think we'd ever, like, run out of a uh, weapon point, so I'm a little surprised we did. Because Shez has over 300. And her skills aren't the most expensive, honestly. The, uh, the multiple slashes one is on the costlier side, but when you have such high weapon durability. Okay. Well, yeah, he just dipped. Those who slither in the dark, huh? No, he escaped. Well, it's still a partial success, I suppose. Yeah, we still fought him off. He is certainly proving to be a troublesome foe. I will have to inform Her Majesty. Hmm. 
go. Alright. Yeah, we ain't that much money for that, actually. Interesting. Alright. We should all feel good about getting through that last battle with our heads still on our shoulders. Mm -hmm. Thanks mostly to the two of you. Yes, you set my mind at ease regarding our future prospects. And I've come out of it with a fine story for Lady Varley. Oh, um, you <laughs> did? Yes, she's been quite worried about it. Mm -hmm. But now I can tell her you That's a really nice thing to say. Wonderfully. Um, thank you? And with that, I must mm -hmm. take my leave. Alright, bye do, Gareth. I mean, of all the Imperial uh, nobles yeah. I've met, that guy seems like one of the most. He wasn't innocent. really, I would say, when we were on Golden Wildfire, but yes. it's all right. What you see is what you get with the good Duke. He's a truly honest soul. He tries to keep himself safe and sound. Of yeah, course, but that's no different. I think that was kind of the issue. Was his uh, allegiance was basically just really heavily based on that. So, hey, are these but I suppose it's all perspective. Or I guess you really like those caves. To curl up and hide. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, you know. The mountain air, the clean type. It all settles down in the caves. Oh, okay. I like that. <sighs> hey, whatever you say. Such caves are often layers for monsters as well. Oh, oh and bandits, obviously. When it yeah. comes to curling up, I think this would be more dangerous. Yeah, that's actually a good point. It might be too dangerous to hang out here all alone. Plus, Probably. if heavy rains have been eroding the bedrock, a bad enough storm could collapse the entire system. <laughs> She's well, trying to scare Bernadette at this you're point. safer staying in a room with four man-made walls. Fine! I won't hide in caves anymore! Are you happy? Anymore? Yeah. You're always just locked up in your room. They're yeah. Not. We see each other all the time! But a lot We're kind of forced to see each other. We're in the middle of a war. I didn't want to be mean to Bernadetta, but like, I also think we'd probably just be honest here. Sorry, that came out wrong. Apology accepted, but you better watch it. Okay. Well, I think we're done here. Let's head back. Done. That was a nice bear look. All right, let's do a story though. Still fighting the Western Kingdom. We're on chapter. What is this? Chapter eleven stage. So what is that? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's like six or so more chapters. So yeah, unless I want to keep doing like six hour streams, which I'm not sure I will do. Probably this stream plus maybe two more, I'd imagine. Our recent battles have won nearly all of the kingdom's central and western lords to our side. Okay. Those who chose not to bend the knee are making their last stand in that castle. They are weird huh. men unable to keep pace with the time. And now we can about the, them just all cheese but a single stroke they had plenty of chances to surrender and chose not to avail themselves yeah. thus show no mercy if they wish to cling <sighs> to the past let them die in its cheese hubert i wish they'd consider all the poor souls they're forcing to perish yeah that's a little bit different cuz you'd have to imagine but i fully understand <sighs> i mean <laughs> the knights are a little bit you know they've got their code it makes sense that some of the knights would want to but the difference is unequivocal. Not the same. Sorry, what? Unequivocal. It is a new word I have been learning. Yeah. Its meaning is clear and unambiguous, yes? Actually, yeah. Again, what? Oh, well, Kazbar probably doesn't understand well, it, but yeah. I see it. We just need to bust through the gates and bubble the stuffing out of them. It unfortunately is not that simple. Most of the kingdom's castles are specifically designed to withstand a siege. Our only option well, that's kind of the point of a castle from the surrounding forts. I agree there is no place for mercy on the battle. The enemy desires a fight. We will rend them asunder and leave their bones on the Okay, minute. well that's violent. We need to move carefully. A cornered foe is capable of anything. <laughs> I vote we play it safe. Hmm. We didn't come all this way just to die so close to our I still goal. wonder though, again, I'd have to imagine that every single path is about the same length. So it really does make me wonder what else happens. Because I don't think we've had to worry about other fronts. We don't have to worry about like the Almirans like the Alliance did. We probably... I'm assuming at some point we're going to have to go back to the base, but okay. 
Well, we don't have this strategy, but it doesn't appear as though there's anyone to persuade here, which makes a lot of sense, actually, if you think about it. But Let's see, some mercenaries or reinforcements. Protect a target. We'll do the protection. I don't think we need the extra damage. Uh, ooh, I forgot about that. Yeah, we don't want these units in here. Let's see. So, Byleth. Edelgard. I forgot that this was going to happen with every, uh, you know, um, paralog we did. Is Lysithia still deployed? I can't tell. No, she is not. Okay. Byleth. So, we've got Shez, Byleth, Lysithia, and Edelgard. Yeah, we're gonna have to redo this every time we do a paralogue, probably. Which is annoying. It was one of the nice things about doing them all at the end, but not really avoidable. Uh, and let's, you know what, let's start bringing along Mercedes and Ash. Just to get them a few bits of extra XP for free. 1200, 12 minutes, 100 enemies a minute. I don't think we've had a stage that goes on beyond like uh, 150 enemies a minute for S rank. Which is nice. What are we doing? I was hoping that Fortress Knight would come over here. Effective Armor Slayer, huh? Okay. Switch over to Scythia, head this way. I still keep thinking to myself, maybe I should pair up my units, and then I'm just like, eh, not gonna worry about it. That did not do that much damage, actually. And just keep in mind that Lysithia uses a bunch of her health to use uh, more powerful spells. So, just interesting. And, you know, she's got a powerful weapon and she's, like, level 60, but... Well, maybe she's starting to fall in love. Yeah. Oh, there are three enemies in this base. We sent Edelgard straight to the enemies with uh, swords, too. <laughs> Oops. Hmm. Uh, I was wondering if they were just going to say, like, no. But seems like the kingdom's deciding to be decent people. Whereas Hubert is being Hubert, but, you know. Still wondering what extra attacks Edelgard gets actually. Is everybody here? Alright, let's move into the castle. Never mind, it looks like we have to go through the main gate. Fair enough. Hmm. I do still need to upgrade some of my units actually for their now I'm thinking about it, the tactics facility. I think we did max out Edelgard. But again, I want to start investing in also. I'm sorry, Gustav. I don't know if you're going to die here. They made it sound like you're going to die here. Seems like a decent guy. He's probably going to die, though. I always thought he was like an armored knight. Not a, uh, like, on foot type of guy, but maybe that's just me. Either way, he's got to go down. Don't really see a way around it. Oh, he didn't die. He's trying to stall out. Temporarily retreated. Ah, no, I just hate to kill all the characters that, uh... Just... Mm, not just the playable ones, even just that, see, again, seem like decent people. Feels kind of bad to me. A lot of knights here. I'm glad we brought, uh few of our, and by few, I mean we brought Lysithia, but Viscount ended, huh? Oh, crud, yeah, we gotta, okay. I'm gonna have Byleth go back here, and then I could order everybody else, but I'm just gonna run around and start fighting them, and then if they get to the base, I'll just take control of Byleth. Count to Vol, huh? Just use this actually. Interesting. Okay. 
There's the ballista. Yeah, I was wondering if that was happening. I feel like every time you're on the stage, the ballista are fired, you know? <laughs> it just kind of, it's going to happen. Oh, we didn't actually order Byleth to... You know what, in that case, let's send her, just send her after him. See, the issue is though, I always thought, Edelgard always made a point of making it sound like in this war, she didn't want to just completely decimate the enemy leaders, so that they still had some form of, like, leadership, and she didn't have to just, like, I don't know, babysit the entire area. But she's taking out, like, all of the leaders of the kingdom right now. Quite a few. At the very least. Which is interesting. Anyway, what does Sublime Heaven look like? Oh, that's pretty neat. Do Ethan and Count Karen, huh? Yeah, I really like that she actually gets her... Even if it's only in New Game Plus. I'm quite happy to have my special weapons. Always like the uh, Sublime Creator Sword. I thought it looked cool. Alright, time to take care of these messengers now. Yeah, now we know we do need to be pumping magic into, uh, Byleth. Oh, we summoned... Did we bring guards or did we bring... I thought we brought guards. I already forgot about the time stop. Jeez, it's been a while since we've had Byleth. Yeah, the time stop's like insanely nice, honestly, especially for enemies that are actually kind of dangerous to you. Makes it so easy to just take them all out. Yeah, her magic isn't honestly that bad, it's just not that high. Violet seemed to be a very like balanced unit when we got her. There you go, Baron Domni. You're at least a good leader. How many members of the Empire, you know? Like, Duke Gareth just kind of dipped when it came to that. There's these strongholds. Mm. Where is it now? Okay, we've already defeated enough enemies this time to just rush the objective. Uh, Edelgard's closest. Hmm. Alrighty then. Is this Gustav? Yes it is. Hi Gustav. This actually won't be as one-sided a fight because I don't have a bar, but... It's not like he's gonna have any... Regions to him. <laughs> Poor Gustav, though. Honestly, I feel kind of bad for most of the people in the kingdom. Because a lot of them actually seem like they do follow the whole... Well, to be fair, Dimitri had to do his whole purge thing, but a lot of the members that we fight actively that didn't just affect to the Empire immediately do seem like decent people. And we just kind of roll through and just steam through all of them. Oh yeah, he's dead, dead. I had a feeling, but... Ah. <sighs> I'm sorry, Gustav. Father, no! Fine then. I will finish what you started. Oh, uh, and it's probably gonna die too. Yeah. Well, Ingrid's already died. I don't remember if Annette dies um, on the I'm not afraid to fight. Hmm. I'm doing this the other path. The But we didn't have the option to persuade her, so I don't think she's recruitable here. Again, I don't think... Like, we've had to pick up those extra strategies sometimes. Which did did genuinely matter. On, um... You know, the whole recruiting Byleth front, but... Hmm. Oh, yeah, she's dead, dead. Ah. Maybe there was another strategy? Maybe? I don't think so, though. <laughs> she does not care, jeez. Oh yeah, I wanted to be a knight, it's just not gonna happen, so, uh, don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I kind of want to look up to see if we could actually save her. But I kind of doubt it. If we couldn't save Ingrid, I don't think we could save Annette. That's just all it really comes down to. And the way I see it too is that we're actually going to be going into our night playthrough last, so... All the people that we couldn't save here, they'll at least live. It does make me kind of worry for what members of the other houses die, but... I don't know. Is that it? Oh yeah, that's it. Dude, the Sublime Creator Sword actually looks really nice. That's not bad. Oh. Yeah, we get a good look at it. Just a floating sword. I don't know why every, like, relic weapon is just glowing bright like red-orange, but still. They deified him for being the descendant of the hero. <sighs> I feel bad. And in return, he got a life he could never control. Mm. And a death he could never ordain. Yet surely the man was happy yeah. to die yeah. for his people. That's one of those rough things is... He had fulfilled his death purpose. That's part of why they're trying to overthrow the nobles. Alone should tell you how yeah. The world has become. Still, right Didn't have any freedom to choose what they wanted to be in them. Even if it was noble, you know, and the, you know, ideals of a knight to lay down his life the way he did, protecting people. It's still, it's just, it's rough. It's kind of messed up. It only took you three quarters of the story, but sure. Oh, I told you before, I don't always get where you're coming from. Yeah. Still, you trusted me, and that was enough. And now she kind of gets it, though. And this was a perfect, like, in-the-face example, though. It made me realize we're not fighting the church or yeah. the kingdom. I mean, we are, of Yeah, course. but we're fighting we're the current system of the world in Fodland. And even if we win, there's no guarantee we'll leave Fodland better than we found it. Yeah. All we can do is try our best and hope it works out. Pretty hard to wrap your brain around, honestly. I yeah. can't even begin to fathom how you can grapple with something that heavy. <laughs> Once again, you managed to find a most surprising nugget of philosophy. <laughs> Thanks, you Hubert. Did understand. Even if I can't point to the reason why I felt that way, but I'm glad to hear you say it. Thank you. Okay. Crusher. Is that Gustav's weapon? It's nice that we get to keep all these weapons for sure, but a lot of them I just haven't been using. At least you have to have, like, a specific crest. And it just feels like kind of a moot point. Shez is level 68. I'm getting even just curious to see what level Shez will be by the time we finish all of these paths. This is clearly going to be pretty high level. Pretty strong. Alright, but what's the next step? Continuing to siege. Soldiers, the lands of Brinius now belong to us. Hmm. As you know, Brinius shares a border with Blated Territory. The enemy stronghold of yeah. is but a stone's throw away. I wonder if we're going to get called back into the Empire, though, the same way we did once we got to the final, like, bit of the kingdom. Huh. I was kind of under the impression, though, that we are still going to keep all three nations kind of standing. I wonder if we are just going to destroy the kingdom. At this rate, it kind of seems like it. But we still have the remaining houses to contend with. Karen Galatea. Galatea, Feldarius, and Galatea are all unshakably faithful to the crown. Okay. They would tear us to pieces had they the chance. Certainly not my idea of a fun afternoon. Fair enough. Still, we have no choice but to face them unless they decide. I'm really starting to get the feeling though that we don't get to recruit any other members of the knights on this playthrough. It's interesting. Because that is one thing that the three houses did do, I think, a little bit better is... Even though there's obviously more than enough recruitable units, I would say, for each playthrough here... Oh, we're about to get called back, aren't we? Oh! Maybe we're getting called back to Leicester. I don't know where Hrim is. Oh, okay. Interesting. 
Did they mention this at the same time? We knew about what happened with Ordelia, all the revolts there. But, interesting. Okay, so we are getting called back. Yeah, a lot of these stories do seem to be pretty parallel. I wonder if this is going to be a really short chapter again. Okay. Yeah, well, this is an opportunity, that's something. Rising Darkness. Slaves, the Rising Darkness. Having smashed the kingdom's last desperate defense, the Empire mm. takes the battle north. Further pressure from the Alliance to the east forces King... It always confuses me when they seem to flip this map upside down. Because, generally speaking, the Alliance always seems to be the east of the other two territories. But I swear sometimes the Empire is on top on this map and sometimes it's the... Um, the Kingdom. As if they literally just like flip-flopped it every other time they like showed it. I don't know if that's just me. Maybe I'm just being dumb, but I swear I saw that. With attacks by bandits and Interesting. Which Not the revolt. Okay. I didn't remember there being one in the Empire at the same time. I just remember us getting called back to Ordelia territory around this time. We have no choice but to intervene. At present, it is just Trim territory. Mm. But if the unrest spreads to neighboring Imperial lands, there will okay. be no water cask large enough to quench the flames. Especially if the fires were intentionally set. Yeah. And yet, redeploying our forces to deal with the unrest could be exactly what they're after. I believe it is. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell. The alliance, we were on the brink of securing the kingdom's surrender. The war was all but decided. It seems certain parties were not at all happy with that particular arrangement. Hmm. I don't think we can avoid, yeah, calling the revolt, though. Yeah, I don't think we have a choice. We'll okay. That sounds exhausting. But you're the boss. Probably will be, yeah. Do you mind if I just slink off to my room and... Oh, here come the dagger eyes. Never mind. If it's settled, let's not waste <laughs> another second. Every moment we delay means more suffering for the innocent people who are caught up in this. Going to Hrimland will take us close to Iron. Huh. Needless to say, I am in favor of departing at once. Let's go find the masterminds behind this mess and send them oh. to meet their maker. But I do wonder if this is going to be a singular mission, uh... Those who are causing trouble chapter though a fair point if we're too reckless many good people are going to be killed only one thing to do let's get to Hrim territory and sort this out yep because it is within our own territory but nope was wrong <laughs> fair enough it's like two or four hours It's interesting that the close ally seems to change depending on what side you're on. Obviously, it's going to be the Lord of the uh, playthrough, but aside from them, I think it was like what was it like Hilda and Lysithia maybe the other time. I have a strategy. I have a strategy. Might as well do that. Raising the magic of um, even units could be helpful because that is kind of the goal with Byleth right now. We finally stockpiled up a bit of gold. Maybe we'll look to upgrade weapons. Upgrading weapons is actually really expensive. That's the point, but let's see. So then, Sublime Creator Sword, we could raise the durability. Why not? Yeah, that's a 10k. How about our Sword of Zoltan? There's so much to do, though. We, we do still need to stockpile some gold. We need to... And the problem is redoing stages really doesn't give you that much gold. Yeah, that took like half of our gold right there. Let's see, what are... Her tome can be raised, actually. Is this it? Hmm. That's probably the only upgrade I can really afford here. Yeah, it's super expensive, though. That's crazy. Time to work you in 
Again, we are skipping some stages, but still, it's just... That blows my mind. Dark Knight Master, okay. Liberty Hunter. Great Knight Master, okay. Nice to see that we're getting, like, max levels on some of these classes. Trickster. A lot of, uh, Master classes here, I think. Interesting. A rank with Lawrence, it looked like, right there. Let's try this. Like, I guess we're here in the Petra. Maybe do a Schmier. Uh, uh, we were here. was happy to. It's fine. Wait, how'd you? There we go. Come back whenever you're hungry. Care to make yourself Ish. useful? Ish. Mercedes. What about... Oops. Okay. I think it takes two of the double arrows to go from nothing to see. From what I've seen. We all must do our fair share to make yourself useful. Let's see, Monica. We are at Aaron with Monica. Let's see. This might re oh wait that's not his pre preferred thing we're area with a lot of these characters actually that'll probably take us there with hubert maybe finish out their sport as well hmm. wow. okay they have a that's interesting they have like a unique conversation if they organize documents together always interesting to see when people have those Alrighty. Let's see, Ash and... Why not? Again, even if we have A rank with one of these two, it still gives them affinity with each other, so... It's not nothing. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Ferdinand, we're close to A rank with Ferdinand. Alright, I'm gonna call it there. So I just get super bored continually doing those every single time. Okay. Let's do a few support conversations, maybe one paralogue and be on our way. So we raised our affinity with Bernadetta and Ash, it looks like. Okay. I thought I was at A-Ring with Bernadetta before. I knew we were pretty high up with her, but... Hi, hi Bernadetta. Bernadetta, listen. I'm I don't remember what we did. Back there. Oh, it wasn't your fault. I'm the one who should be apologizing. I didn't realize things could even go that bad. I'm glad <laughs> we managed to get you in front of the meanest looking. Oh, <laughs> right. We tried to, yeah, the have one of the members of a mercenary group help her. Quickest I've ever seen someone run, let me tell you. And then I accidentally <laughs> stepped on that horse's oh, tail, no. so it started going wild and totally trashed the place. It'll probably take weeks for them to clean that up. Eh, well. really did it this time, Bernie. No, it was definitely also partially our fault too. You can't feel too bad about that, Bernadetta. Hey, we all make mistakes. Hmm? Water under the bridge, you know? Try and make her feel less bad Thanks. about it though. That aside though, you still want to do something about your shyness, right? Mm -hmm. You can see why this is a bigger problem than your whole staying indoors thing. Your yeah. anxieties can be quite the hurdle to overcome. You're right. Mm -hmm. But hey, I haven't been keeping to myself at all lately. Bernie's out in the open. There you go. Yeah, even if it's not been working out the way it's been intended, yeah. She's still out there doing stuff. Well, we can start by having you hide nearby while I talk to someone you're afraid of. That sounds like a bad idea. But okay. Maybe you can come out and join in. I'm not going to care whether it's interesting or not. It doesn't matter if they're serious or boring or the most fascinating person in the world. All I care okay. about is that they don't scare me. Yeah, I guess that's gonna be tough to manage on its own, huh? Well, maybe the incremental approach won't actually be as hard as we think. Really? How do you figure? I mean, I did used to think you were pretty terrifying. 
but with all this stuff we've been doing together, I've actually gotten used to you. And now I'm not really shy around oh. you, am I? <laughs> there we go. That is great. I would say Waichi was afraid of me, but we're not trying to guilt trip her. <laughs> she immediately kind of guilt trips her anyway. Maybe you just have to spend a lot of time with someone before you get really comfortable. Yeah, I think that's it. Anyway, here's hoping you and I can keep getting closer, Bernadetta. Right. Okay. That was nice. Talk to Ash. Oh, that's interesting. Ash, it looks like, has conversations for every single support level. A lot of... Well, does every character actually... For Shez, okay, Yuri doesn't have a B, Baltus doesn't have a C, no C, no C. A lot of them do, actually, that's interesting. I guess that makes sense. It is, you know, literally the main character. Oh, it's you. Hi, Ash. What are you doing? Hey, Ash. Not much, just perusing this tactics book. Have you read it before? I sure have. It was popular in Leicester a few years back. If I, I picked it up myself back at the monastery, huh. but it was so dense it took me ages. To so he likes reading tactics books. It's a pretty tough one, I'll give you that. But there's some great stuff in here too, if you can get past the writing. Hold on. I'd imagine. You were born in a remote mountain village in Ordelia territory, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which was surprising, What's genuinely. Point? She wouldn't think of uh, all places to be born and be in Lysithia's territory in the Alliance. That's kind of rude. I mean, nobles and the children of rich families are taught to read by default, but most commoners never get the opportunity. I get he didn't mean it in rude, they like, <laughs> jeez. Ever since our time at the academy. I hope I didn't offend you. I'm just curious. No, that's fair too. <laughs> it's fine. I learned from my mom. Adoptive mom, that is. We hear a lot about her adoptive mom for not really learning a whole lot about her. That someone as smart as her was off living in the middle of nowhere like that. Yeah. I'm sure she must have had a reason for being there. Hard to say. She never liked talking about her past, so I don't know much beyond what I saw for myself. Mm. At the very least, it's obvious she was well educated. That's clear just from That's looking nice. at you. Not only can you read and write, but you know arithmetic and how to navigate with a map, too. In that sense, you're not so different from the average noble or knight raised in the lap of love. Oh, right. I'd accept the compliment, no reason not to. Yeesh, you're gonna make a gal blush. I only have my mom to thank for raising me so well, though. Yeah. Hmm. She must have been an incredible woman. She really does sound like it, though. I know how to read myself until I met Renato. Huh. Interesting. Now that you mention it, wasn't he also the adoptive son of uh, Renato as well? If I'm not mistaken, or maybe that was a different character. Makes me wonder where my mom learned all that. Trying to remember. There's so many characters across all the Fire Emblem games, it really is difficult to keep track of everything. I don't play it anymore, but I remember in Fire Emblem Heroes 2 on the that mobile gacha game, it gets even more crazy because there's literally like five versions of every character and they just keep pumping out more. One of those fun games if you like Fire Emblem, but still it's just kinda hard to keep track of everything. Do one more. Again, I want to take care of some of these as we go, and we're still probably gonna have a chunk to do at the end. Aside from having oh, they're talking about Byleth. Impossibly powerful and a constant thorn in our side. That's fair. A correction. Was a constant thorn in our side. I must have a little terror has put in some fine work for the Empire. Would this have been the same conversation if to have gained so powerful we didn't ally ourselves with them? Why do you bring this up? Interesting. Is there something on your mind? I'm not entirely sure myself. My apologies, Hubert. Mm -hmm. Pay me no mind. Like as not, I am overthinking the situation. Surely you realize that telling me to pay this yeah. no mind gives me greater cause for concern? It's Hubert, too. Like, he's I didn't mean to worry kind of like the he supported Aeo Guard, so saying that is not going to help. <laughs> I just felt... Uh, I don't know. As if Ooh. something was... Kind of goes back to the thought that... Demon. Even if she didn't end up being their professor, a lot of times, kind of, they still gravitate towards them. And maybe it is because of Sothis. That's possible. Because, I mean, nobody knows that Sothis is inside a Biolith, so... Interesting, but... Still. 
so long as you realize I will be taking the liberty to investigate this most thoroughly. I yeah, I'd would imagine so. Much. Do as you must. Honestly, Hubert, you never <laughs> change, do you? When I emerged from the yeah. palace all those years ago, you acted as though nothing had happened. Do not worry, you said. I took the liberty to investigate while you were mm. indisposed. Fair enough. For the record, my blood was boiling. However, as there were others present, I kept still my tongue. I could not risk showing my anger, lest they find a way to turn it against you. My role to That's fair. Is yeah. Cold, crafty, unbeatable servant. He does do a good job of that. Happy with the casting. So let us leave it at that. Okay. I'm certain you are. But just once I'd like to see our roles reversed. Fair enough. Your Majesty, you cannot possibly be serious. <sighs> not in the slightest. I'm well aware I am not cut out for the kind of work you do. Nonsense. There is nothing beyond your capability. Well, that's nice of him to say. That said, I prefer you best when you are the one in charge. Command me as you see fit. No matter how daunting or impossible the task may be, I will come through every time without fail. Thank you, Hubert. It's good mm. to know that I can always rely on you. Makes me wonder, though, since there's not romance between characters in Three Houses or Three Hopes. Um, like at all in Three Hopes, but it's only really between Byleth and a specific character in Three Houses. It does make you kind of wonder how that would have played out. Do I want to know? Is it not obvious? We are debating mm. who might be behind the I wasn't expecting an immediate cutscene, actually, but sure. The slithery people. <laughs> the slithery people. Yeah. Absurdly phrased, but correct. We may have ousted Lord Arendelle mm. and the others from power in Enlar. Lord Arendelle was still at large, wasn't he? Which is why we have been preparing for the day they bared their fangs once more. Fair enough. Granted, we lack solid proof they are behind this, but it is the most likely explanation considering the scale of the revolt. Yeah, as and it's well, not as though you necessarily need proof to go take care of it. I'll keep that in mind on the battlefield. Oh, for the record. This part where you all trust me enough to tell me what's going on. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I strongly oppose, but Her Majesty insisted we keep you in. Thanks, Hubert. Must you always end <laughs> yeah. us, Hubert? I merely state fact. Though I will admit you saved the Emperor's life once. once. It only takes once, Hubert. Still, I would not be shocked in the slightest if you suddenly changed your colors and tried to kill her. <sighs> Yet sharing such knowledge with you achieves a dual purpose. Why you gotta be so harsh? It helps prevent those who slither in the dark from using you, and it gives ample justification to dispose of you, should you. I, this is one of the situations where I'd want to vent, but you probably don't say it, because then he's going to become even more suspicious. I don't know how I'd react if you did. That's fair. You may not have Hubert's trust. But you have Thanks, mine. Edelgard. I'll be counting on you as always in the battles to come. If those who slither in the dark appear, we must strike them down. Yeah. I'm still wondering if we're going to have that whole shtick we had in Golden Wildfire where we end up in some random realm with all three of the leaders. It's possible. New paralog, new paralog. Okay, Ash and Wolves is 100% the same thing, yeah. So I might just honestly either not do this one or hold off but these four like i might just do this one honestly for the resources off stream but these four should all be new but this one we 100 yeah i wasn't sure it makes sense that they would repeat the paralogs where you do have the same characters so ash and wolves a reunion as long as we didn't like you know just not recruit one of them will probably be available no matter the path there another... yeah i figured okay lots of uh Lots of mandatory dialogue in this one. I guess we could skip it, but it kind of defeats the purpose of figuring out what's going on. The fields, the people. These bandits are like rats. They're nothing alone, but if you let them band together, yeah, if you have enough. Before, it was a long time ago, sure, but I can't believe this is all that's Have we? I know Shez does mention um at some point in the Golden Modifier playthrough that we'd never really been to like Enbar the capital. With no one in but, charge, the does this count as like a small area that she might have taken mercenary work for? 
assassinations too. They've hmm. cut us deep indeed. Interesting. But why were they killing the leaders instead of taking them hostage? Nope. If it is those who still in the dark, they're just trying to kind of plant the seeds for chaos. It would seem their interest is little more than yeah. unadulterated chaos. Someone clearly does not wish Fodlin to be united beneath the Empire's flag. But to be fair, I didn't think that was exactly the goal. I don't think we're trying to just destroy the kingdom. We did sign a peace treaty with the Alliance again, so... There's that. There you go. We need to restore order as quickly as possible and return to the kingdom front. Once I've brought an end to the war, I will never permit something this ghastly to happen again. Okay. And we really haven't worried about Anna's shop. We can get some permanent stat upgrades from there, but it's not been a huge concern, honestly. Helpful, but not a huge concern. I wonder if this is going to be a fight. Again, I'm still not sure who we could possibly recruit for the rest of the fights. No, I'd rather have magic. Sorry, Manila. But I would much rather have the, the magic upgrade. But uh, Anna can give us like those extra permanent upgrades. She usually has like the seals and such. Not really anything actually that important, hindsight being what it is, but still. What are we doing? Oh, morale. Why not? Alright, this. I haven't really worried about battalions a whole lot. They're helpful, but, um, nope. Misclick. Oops, I'm dumb. I was mashing A. We'll see. Um, genuinely speaking, aside from the Byleth Gerald recruitment mission, it really doesn't feel like you need any more than just the Renown to slash, like, whatever the resources are Indeed. to, uh, you know, just get your persuade characters. But I don't actually know if there's even going to be any more persuasions. We have, I think we have one or two of the points. Again, I'm just, it's a bit of a waste, yes. But seriously, like, it's not a big concern. I'm not looking to 100% every single support conversation. I'm just kind of moving forward. It's crazy that we're already at, like, 45, 46 hours, though, on this, uh, save file. It did take about 30 to complete our first playthrough. But that was with a lot of offspring grinding. So, there's that. Oh! Well, maybe we do get Leonie here. Oh. I'm so sorry, but your boy is he's gone. Well that's sad. Please, you must live on. So Hanneman wasn't with the Opera Troop here, but to be fair, the Opera Troop probably didn't exist if we already had Manuela and Dorothy with us. Leonie will be alright. Seems a bit random to find Leonie here, but you know. We got more bandits! They're kidnappers! Oh, come on. We We are hopelessly Oh, poor guys. It seems these streets will be my grave. They were just randomly in the Empire, because this is Empire territory. I don't think we went to Ordelia territory. Worse than the others. Quick, wait, is that a... yeah. Professor Hanneman? Does that fool really I don't think he really thinks he can. I just think he's one of those people that's in a position where he's not going to back down. You know, he's trying to protect people here. He's not just going to leave. Yep. Let's go take him out. Assuming, yep, yep, okay. It takes 30 resources to do that? Jeez, okay. Again, like, missing these, but... Outside of literally the pilot mission, again, I don't think it's actually that important. Let's, uh, push forward. 1500, 1500, okay. I do want to try and get us strengths on... If nothing else, these main story stages from here on out, you know? Because we're going to have to do them no matter what, is the thought. This is the mission that we had to do, this is the map we had to do twice though because of, uh, even if this is an Empire territory, not Ordelia territory. We're starting on the opposite side, interestingly enough, because I'm pretty sure it was the other side that we started on when we were, you know, doing this from the side of the Alliance. But I do remember I didn't lower that bridge, and I think that was part of the reason that Dorothy just took that extra little bit to reach the safe board at the very top. So... Maybe we'll keep that in mind. I don't know if there's going to be a whole poison shtick again, but as soon as that becomes available, we should probably make use of it. All right. Take out as many enemies as we can, too. Stop that. 
Yeah, Leonie's an ally. That really does make me wonder if there's going to be another poison mechanic here. Because again, it's the exact same map. Basically the same situation. Has me a little bit worried, because that would be really annoying. The Empire is here to help. This is Leicester Alliance, but the Empire's here to help. <laughs> Interesting. A little bit confusing there. We are playing as the Empire, but maybe she's talking about us. Oh, there's a Gatekeeper. Gatekeepers were way more common in the first uh, Fire Emblem Warriors than they were here. Genuinely. I feel like Gatekeepers were like a solid, like, almost always there mechanic, ever-present. Whereas here, they still show up, but it's not nearly as often. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Lots of tricksters here. I don't know if we need to take them out, but... There we go. Gotta loop all the way around for this one, huh? Yeah, I was gonna say, the entire team was fighting that one, so... The wide remote. Okay, so we do still need to get to Hanuman pretty fast. Alright, where is... Yeah, they're just beating up on that shit. Jeez. That's messed up. It's one thing if it's anyone who's capable of fighting back, but like... Literally just randomly fighting the, uh, the people of this area. Not okay. Here comes all of our units, too. We're... Not exactly where we wanted them, but sure. Alright, alright. Seeing you give it your all motivates me too. Hmm. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta go. I should have had one at least one person kind of targeted go help him. I just did think about it. And then we all ended up on that bottom uh bottom Oh he's fine. I thought he was gonna be like really hurt. He's still at half health. I still have nightmares from uh <laughs> That Warriors playthrough, there was one stage in particular where it kept warning us about him like every second from the time they were at like half health. Or no, it was like three quarters even. And it was super aggravating. Because they were very clearly not actually in danger. But the game was like constantly reminding us. Yeah, I maybe need to start giving orders to my units here in a sec. It depends on what the objective is next. Because they're all just sitting in that bottom left corner for no reason. There's Pilardo. Is this gonna be... Well, no, there's probably a poison mechanic if this is a decoy again. Because then it's basically just a carbon copy of what happened. Water is subordinate, huh? Let's send someone to chase after. There we go. Hi, Pilardo. Still not sure if... Because again, if we upgrade to like one of the crest weapons, not only would that take a lot of golden resources to actually do, but we'd have to get to the point where we, um... We'd have to spend the Renown Shop to get the items to have that crest. Yeah, there's the real one, apparently. So, just interesting. Yeah. What a guy. So he goes right up to where his thief is running away, but we also fight him. Good plan, dude. Uh, now we can make sure this plunder is returned to its rightful owner. There's Lysithia one-shotting him with the skill. I should have stayed a merchant. The money came easier. Yeah, he did say that last time too. Interesting. Yeah, it literally just to me seems like it's gonna be a reverse of the previous uh, stage. We need to be using Violet to some extent too to level up Sublime Heaven. It'll still level up passively when we're using her, but don't we get the extra experiences from using it? Hey, look, it's Captain Lee. <laughs> I can't take this guy seriously. He literally just looks like a super scuffed version of Captain Levi from Attack on Titan. It's so he, he just like I can't unsee it, you know. That's my problem always with things like that, though, is once I see it, I just... it doesn't leave my head. 
Alrighty. Time to rescue one of the citizens. Jeez. Is that right? Why is everybody on this side of the map? Gosh dang it, I really hate to constantly be ordering units more than I need to. But then they're just randomly all over here doing nothing. I do want to capture some of these strongholds though, just in case. I'm really aware of it being another poison stage because I don't want to do it again. Because it seems to me like a very similar situation to what happened when we recruited uh, Dorothy. We have an allied unit who's running around trying to protect the people when we got called back to our own territory. Again, I would be pretty annoyed actually. There we go. Okay. Oh. Somebody help. Oh. Please don't leave me behind. Well, you're sitting here literally murdering innocent people, so it's hard to feel bad for him. Even if that is kind of like a sad voice line. Kind of, you know, changes things. <laughs> Beast over. Beast. Take care of it. Wind magic, huh? Did we bring anyone with wind magic? Yeah, just take it out as fast as possible. Oh, we might not need it. Ah, uh, we literally didn't bring a lance or a fist, or I genuinely don't know if we have the ability to use wind magic here either, so. Kind of unfortunate. Just how it goes with these enemies. We're leveled enough that I don't... Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, well... If I'd realized this was going to be the case, maybe I should have brought someone who could heal, but... It's fine. We're going to have... Lysithia also help us, just in case we run into, like, armored units or something. We'll have Edelgard also go help with the Demonic Beast. But we've captured most of the forts. Uh, oh, we didn't capture the one that we have to run through. Okay. Edelgard actually uh, should start working on this stronghold. Just because ideally I think we want to make it so that Lonely literally doesn't have to stop as she's sitting here dying to poison. Oh crud, okay. Didn't think about that. There's the drawbridge that I was talking about maybe needing to do earlier. Slower lower the drawbridge immediately, and then we'll just take out that grammar as fast as possible. I really don't want to have to do this stage again, because I accidentally let Leonie die. She doesn't actually seem to have as far to go, though, as uh, Dorothy did. I feel like Dorothy had to go from, like, the bottom corner to uh, all the way to that top fort that's currently locked. You'll be fine. As long as a bunch of enemies don't show up and keep stopping you, but you'll be fine. Yeah, this seems like it was way less distance to travel, honestly, which is nice. Already defeated enough enemies, too. Ah, oh, perfect. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a lot worse. Yeah, seriously, like, we lost uh, Dorothy the first time. Because even though we defeated most of the enemies that were there pretty fast, it was genuinely an issue. I keep forgetting about time stop. Thanks, enemy. She is super poisoned. Is the chest is all the I really haven't worried about the chest in this game, too. Like, it's free stuff. I probably should be, but it just. Eh. Alright, Edelgard's heading up there. Let's go. Oh, it's Solon. Well, that's one of those. We wanted proof that it was those who slither in the dark, and then Solon shows up. you really need to be saving is your own brain from a migraine dude honestly like dude's head looks like it's about to burst ah I forgot about that no interference from beasts. send her to Initiating the operation. there 
going to switch to Edo Guardian. Oh, she was already in there. What? Well, we don't need to bring down the Wall of Darkness if Edogard somehow already got in there. Oh, this guy's really weak. Well then. That was fast. Why are you standing right here just... Okay. Fair enough. Why is she standing like that? Is she just T-posing? Interesting. We have finished assessing the damage. And it is a grim picture indeed. Thanks to yeah, the so. action of our rescuers, we were able to free the abducted townsfolk. However, there are still countless victims who have lost their homes and families. The bandits are targeting the most populous towns here. And it appears the Alliance is dealing with the same problem. If they're literally just trying to murder as many people as possible, I can't give back what they lost. they're probably going to attack the most populated areas. The time they need to heal and rebuild. Yet yeah. perhaps the most vexing part is that Solon and the others slithered out of our grasp again, and we barely know more about them than when we started. My that is a problem. Your Majesty. Their warping magic is unlike the white magic we know, and as yet cannot be disrupted or thwarted. Additionally, a town such as this gives them far too many places to hide. I'm not blaming you, Hubert. Mm. The guy didn't even seem phased by us. What do you think they're after? Nothing, certainly. <sighs> yeah. That much is certain. I've heard enough. Proceed as we discussed. Make sure the survivors have everything they need to carry on. That's about all we can do for them. Here's the scythe lance. Looks pretty neat. This is not <laughs> Ferdinand just gets two thoughts. Ferdinand's Master Disc Class. Dude. You do get so much gold from doing the story stages, probably because they're such long stages. Edelgard, why was it so important for us to suddenly convene like this? We are quite busy oh. preparing to remobilize the troops. Again. Yeah, we gotta head back to the war. Ah, Ferdinand. Have you not noticed the flock of messengers coming and going? I doubt anyone's missed it with all the commotion they're causing. Mm. What happened? I am sorry you have to repeat your report. But would you mind telling everyone here what you told us? I come with the most urgent oh. message from Burgley's territory. Port Mercius. Port Mercius has been seized. Interesting. It happened after most of the garrison left to deal with Primlands, apparently. Some of the remaining troops staged a rebellion from within. So we're gonna have to go take care of that then, probably. Time, the fort was besieged by unidentified mages, along with the army of the oh. Duke Iyer. Well, there you go, Ferdinand. They managed to reach we gotta the take him out. And seize control. As we speak, they hold hostage many key commanders and their families. Iyer? The, the man behind all this is... Dang. Himself, my lord. It seems Poor Ferdinand. I see. Well, there's your proof. He wanted him, ha him to have a fair trial, but, uh... Don't think that's really gonna happen now. Interesting. Apparently he made the prudent decision of refusing to join the rebellion. Not sure if that's good news or bad news. Well, it's good news that he did the quote-unquote right thing, but bad news that he's captured, yeah. ...has vowed to overthrow the Emperor, and is even now calling on the other lords to join the cause. To my knowledge, there have been no takers so far. Eh. But given time, who can say... I'm just gonna go crush him real quick. ...a shortage of rotten nobles, whose status and interests were set aside by Her Majesty's reforms. We are trying to get rid of the current kind of system of nobility, so... Kind of bad for the nobles. Good for, you know, everybody else except like the what? One, two percent, but still. Yeah. 
Yep, yep. Fortunes continue taking one poor turn after another. Still, there's nothing for it. We must deal with Ayer's machinations immediately and decisively. Try to look on the bright side, your majesty. This could be our chance to dispose of... I don't know if I think of it that way, but sure. Suppose there's always... I don't know if you can really call that looking <laughs> on the bright side, but it's something, you know? It's not nothing. After a furious march, Edelgard's army restores a measure of peace to the imperiled lands of Prim, only to learn of a revolt at Fort Mercius, mm. staged by the deposed Duke Iyer. Here he is. It's really hard to take this guy as, like, being intimidating. Because I gave him like the least intimidating design. And eventually the capital of Enbar. But Edelgard moves to thwart them. Yeah, we gotta head that way. I was genuinely wondering what they were gonna do to extend this out, because seriously, like Menya has hastened from afar to join your cause. Our houses, Fenya and Menya, share a Benya and Menya. And now we stand together again to save the Empire from her blight. You're about to stand here to get dunked on, honestly. That's not how that works. That miserable smattering of soldiers. From what I hear, Menya's heir is a rabid mm. supporter of the Emperor. Are you certain the father is not being foisted on us just huh. to get him out of the picture? They even give him the least intimidating voice, too. Besides, all of House Fenya is united behind you. If we appeal to the other lords jointly, I'm count, certain yeah. a multitude of troops will be this is a Viscount. I didn't realize that at first, but... Former Duke Iyer, Viscount Fenya. Why they'd side with that pathetic excuse for an emperor. Maybe because it's the emperor, but sure. Ludwig von Iyer can restore Adrestia to its former glory. About those mages, they say they want to, uh... Alter the okay, that's what's defenses, huh? Fine, fine. Let them do as they wish. Well, that's fair, so yeah. Because, uh, don't get it wrong, Tukair. You are ridiculously outnumbered. We'll strike the moment we give any indication we're after the oh, we're striking now. We'll don't you worry about that. Troops inside, then dispose of them all at once. It will be an easy victory. I always knew will it? a brilliant tactician. They will Is he? never see it coming. Now, if we might discuss key posts in your ah, future well. administration. Yeah, if that came to pass, but that's not happening. Weak and foolish enough to be so <laughs> you know that's not the case, right? To divide the empire in war. That's not what I wanted. If she'd said one word, one word indicating there might be a place for me. None of this would have been there necessary. probably was you were a duke you know I must purge my mind of such thoughts might not have been the position you were I might, and if I might not have not, been the position he was looking he for but still to cut me down, oh, okay uh yeah maybe if we put aside the fact that Ferdinand's like level 15 but sure do you have a moment of course Ferdinand but please keep it short it is about my father my pleas for a fair trial cost you time and delayed his sentencing. It also gave the Knights of Seros an opening to conduct their raid. Which provided yeah. a opportunity to no, I mean, I think everyone would understand where Ferdinand's coming from here. Yeah, I get that he's trying to take responsibility, but anyone would, you know? What are you going to do about it? Or, more likely, what do you want me to do about it? Put me in the field when we retake Fort Mercius, and permit me to rectify my own mistake. Will you allow me that? I was wondering mm. when you'd ask. Don't worry. I've already made I wonder if we're going to have to deploy him. If that's the case, we might need to level him a little bit. You will stick to the battle plan and that is a direct order. Ah, Edelgard. You are the very picture of reason. Jeez. The very epitome of wise stewardship. Enough. You can gush over me after the battle if you still feel the urge. We've no idea how things will go after all, yep. and you may be in a very different. By this point, for all they know, he could escape again or something. All but same, still, I am grateful. Thank you. You can come out, Hubert. I know you're listening. <laughs> I came to Jeez. give you the latest reports, Your Majesty, but decided to wait until this other business reached its conclusion. Then you know what must be done. Yeah. Make sure he's given protection. Oh, I will if I find the time. 
If I find the time. Quite busy Jeez. You found a way to take care of them? I can assure you, those Cretans will rue ever setting foot in Her Majesty's fortress. Interesting. They Wonder what his plan is. Walls, and we will give them the thickest oh. ones a coffin can provide. This is our chance to That's scary. What have we got? So we're here. It's there. One, two, three, four, four record fighters. Uh, I don't think we have quite enough Merc Whistles to get to the end of the game, but eh. It's probably fine. And we do still have quite a bit of renown, too. We could absolutely buy enough to get there. So not a big issue. I have an idea. Maximum activity points, maximum strength. I'm just going to do morale. I'm getting to the point where genuinely I think I might just skip using most of my activity points and maybe just do cooking. It's good for the whole support conversations and such, but it's just... Uh... I enjoy listening to some of these support conversations, but I just... At the same time, it gets to a point where I'm kind of like, do I really want to sit here and do all of them, you know? Alright then, let's train... People have basically mastered all of their class, I think. I don't even think there's, like, anyone who has it as of this point. Leone hasn't. Okay, that's one. Hmm. I think that's the last person, though, genuinely. So I'm not going to worry about it until later, honestly. Sport level, okay. There we go. Wonder how close Yuritz is to maxing out his class action. Oh, he's a ways off. Interesting. Burning points are just easier to use too because they don't take like any time at all. Hunger is the true enemy. <sighs> Let's just do something like I don't know. something new. Why not? Guard and why not? I'm curious to see what Edelgard and Monica's rank A conversation is. I'm glad it is not just you and me alone, Your Majesty. Well, I'm. Hmm. That people's morale is really high already, though. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna head straight into battle. We might do a parallel again. I'm gonna do the Ashen Wolves one off stream, if I do it at all, just to clear it out, because there's not really a point in doing so. Reason to fight. Is that one we've done before? Yep, okay. But So both of these two are repeats. 100%. Our scouts have returned from Fort Mercius. There's less movement than we anticipated. I don't think Duke Iyer really had yeah, that much of a plan besides hold up in the fort and try and just hold out. One needs three times the forces of their enemy to claim a castle in a siege. Although, that's if you attempt to take it head on. So, do we have a plan or what? Interesting. Fort Mercius is basically impenetrable. <laughs> Actually, this one time we came home well after curfew and had to try and sneak back in. Jeez. Turns out there was no way in. The guards mistook us for bandits and <laughs> shouted at us until he lost his voice. It's kind of funny. <sighs> good times. The good news is that we have learned of a passage into the fort which has been kept secret. Why is there always a secret passage? I feel like there really wasn't that many, huh? his reason has completely taken flight the man will take some sort of measures to defend it the fortress is interesting size. we should organize small teams and be attacking from many points if we achieve success we can open the gates from the inside and be giving the enemy a surprise it only serves okay. other regions if the empire starts shedding empire blood we should find a resolution that minimizes casualties on both sides um is this the part where i chime in because, um, yeah. We want to Minimize casualties in before it says we need to do like 1,800 enemies to get an S rank. That'll only push them further into their shells, so I think we should try talking to them. I don't think they're gonna listen to reason. Just me, or is our corner of the world an uncontrolled mess? Every corner of the world is uncontrolled mess, Arvel. 
We've got the numbers to do it. We can sneak soldiers in, use the secret passage, talk it out, and apply brute force. I don't know if you can really talk it out while doing those other things, but sure. We'll win. That's actually not a bad plan. And it didn't even come from me. It's not a bad plan, just do them all. I mean, the brute force part is a little risky, but I dare say you're learning. Thanks, Arvel. An intriguing idea. That's at least what about the better praise than we usually get from Marvel. I will not permit that to happen. And while my father may be a fallen noble, he is still a noble. And not the sort of man to start butchering innocent people when the tie is turned. I pray you are right, Ferdinand. Though I believe you never know what a person is capable of yeah. until when they're put under pressure, that's when things really do sometimes change. The situations dictate. Interesting. We cannot fail. Not here. Not now. Alright then. Time to keep using we have 13 more. That's fine. I have a strategy. Slightly easier? No, I'm fine. Like I said, if I wanted 100% everybody's support conversation, stuff like that would be helpful. But I really, really do not. That's a lot of fun. Greetings. And a lot of just sitting, eventually just watching support conversations. Which is interesting, it's just a lot of effort. Race of Daxon? Why not? I'm still under the impression that just making a super powered, uh. Super powered Shez might just be the play. Because you're always going to have Shez, you know? I don't know. Just raise your support points, please. Oh, wow. We've actually. Oh, no. Okay. Never mind. Why not, Leonie? Okay. I get the feeling that maybe Leonie's recruitable anytime you can recruit. Alright, not worried about that. I do get the feeling that they'll probably just be recruitable whenever you can... I don't like copy these. Whenever you can recruit your, uh, Vilas and Geralt. I wonder if she wouldn't have joined us if we murdered Geralt. That seems kind of likely to me, but... You never know. Could be the case, could not be. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Alright. Wrong button. Which battlefield are you All right, let's do a paralog. Just one, maybe here. Um, why not? Opera Company. Let's see how it is. I don't think we've done this one before. Like I said, the bottom two I know for sure we've done, but I don't think we've done the other ones, to my knowledge. We love you, Manuela. <laughs> Did you oh. see that? Dorothea looked right at me. Lots of their fans, huh? crowd was amazing. I thought they were going to faint on the spot the moment you appeared. <laughs> Pretty impressive reaction, considering how long it's been since you quit the stage. Don't sell yourself there you go. short, Dorothea. Those people were cheering full throat for you as well. That's also a fine reaction, considering you left the Oh, it's been two years since she... Nearly two years ago. Oh, so she hasn't performed in this timeline since the uh, time skip. Let me tell you, it has hmm. certainly done a number Interesting. on me. Oh, stop. Time hasn't diminished your beauty nor your voice. Well, you're very sweet. I have no idea how old Manuela is actually supposed to be. No, I'm getting by with smoke mirrors and the skin of my teeth. I'm no longer fit to command the stage. At best, I can serve as a bodyguard to our successors in the Middle Frank Opera Company. As they look to entertain our troop. Yes, well, all kidding aside, we both know it was the current songstress Adrienne who received the loudest cheers from the crowd. Feel free to join in the conversation. Oh, we're just standing here. <laughs> yeah, all of this is a bit mm. out of my wheelhouse. That does line up with our support conversation with Dorothea, that, too. I don't know the first thing about opera, and I'm sure you had plenty of people clamoring to keep all of you safe on this little excursion. So, we've already been over this, Dorothea. You and I both know this kind yeah. of thing isn't my cup of tea. Actually, your unfamiliarity is the reason we chose really? you to accompany us. 
If we brought along a bunch of stars Oh, okay, because they wouldn't be paying attention. Would end in this. Sadly, we've learned from experience that people will use any excuse to get close to our singers. Sometimes they even convince themselves that we've reciprocated their feelings. Ah. Clearly done nothing of the sort. Yeah, I know that's kind of an issue with the lot of things to be fair. Good at close quarter combat as a result. The opera company was where I learned my dagger skills. Though, I admit it's hardly the most appropriate weapon for a battlefield. Sounds intense. Interesting. Indeed. Behind the glitz and glamour of the stage. Yeah. All manner of dark desires. Unfortunate, but. Works, everyone comes together to beat back the darkness and create mm -hmm. something magical. It's a nice thing about. Like most I feel like that's just an issue, just almost like meta, like with the entertainment industry sometimes. <laughs> kind of scary, actually. Talk really takes me back. Forgive our intrusion, my lady, but we're ready to begin moving again. We should okay. reach the next town in a little over. Mm -hmm. What's all that racket? Someone attacking the opera company? Yep. Not really a whole lot of explanation, but somebody's attacking the opera company. Who's this we're trying to protect? Oh, Adrian. Interesting. Okay, 1500 enemies, 13 minutes. Well, as we did last time, we'll just have Manuela. Defend. She's a bit under leveled, but it's probably fine. This is going back to level 27, though. I doubt it'll be any issue. It's nice. Like, that's why I think we should be doing the paralogs a little bit earlier. Like, and I just, I hate to just sit there and not pay attention to the main story. But luckily, we also have Dorothea here. I just, some of the pronunciation names like that just died. Seem weird to me. Let's see, if she's following this path, as long as they don't get ambushed randomly by their units, we should be able to just clear ahead most of this path pretty easily. Kind of like that. Okay, heading back. confused as to which direction she's going, but which direction am I going? Jeez. So if she's trying to get all the way down to that bottom corner, I feel like she's definitely not taking the most direct route towards it, you know? But this we can probably do is clear out all these enemies ahead. I didn't mean to push that. Oops. That's awkward. I need to assign Dorothea to actually be watching over Adrian because she kind of seems to be doing so already. So, doesn't seem to be a huge problem. Yep, there we go, there's one. Dorothy, oh, she's not in that area. Oops. Oh my god. Are we supposed to convince this guy to join us? Oh, okay. Never mind. Hey, dude. Well. Here. Sure. We'll, we'll say that. Manuela defeated the fanatic. Don't know if that's how I'd call it, but. Wait, he's just gonna join our side and start protecting him? Oh my gosh. You really can charm anyone. No way, I love her. What? And Dorothea, well, it's your fan. You go take care of him. An encounter with the Sontress Manuela? Oh, 
<laughs> How many of their fans are here? Jeez. Just lower him and then, you know, do this. Oh, did we not use? Oh, we didn't use. Oops. That's awkward. I thought it was just going to lower him to one health again, and then we could just use her to do that. Oops. That's unfortunate, because I think it's kind of the entire idea here is to keep collecting allies that can just kind of help you make things a little bit smoother. Not that we really need it, but, you know. Not really a reason not to, either. Well, unfortunately, Dorothea is all the way over there, so... She's not going to be defeating this guy. Dorothea, devotee. Is she not... Oh, are you not attacking this... this one? There you go. Have her go fight this one. I could warp her over here, but it's probably fine. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna... Am I not? Oh, can I not warp? Oh, I thought... Ah, whatever. It's fine. Can she not move forward until we get rid of this band? No, I think we're good. Maybe... Well, if this is the main quest one, maybe only specific ones are side missions. I don't really get it. If I'm being completely honest, but, you know. She should defeat Dorothy's fans, so, uh, Dorothy's fans with her since she's actually, you know, a decent level. Alright, two-thirds of the weight there on enemies. Gosh. Jeez. Seems your charms have turned even these hardened bandits to jelly. Yeah, seems like it. My accomplishments won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. Hmm. You all but guarantee our victory. Sorry, but you ain't getting through here. Hopefully this is all of them. Don't know if it did though. It hit at least a couple of them, it looks like. Nope, hit one. <laughs> Oops. Could have just used this, but eh. Okay, we need 150 more enemies. Hopefully the mission doesn't just... I'm concerned that the mission just ends once we get there. I don't think that's usually the case. Usually there's like some enemy commander in every stage, but... Just in case we haven't defeated enough enemies and then it just ends once we escort them out. Because there's still locked forts, so I don't think that's the case. Yeah, no, we're good. Maybe just don't attack random people, you know? Like, just a thought. Hmm. Okay, we gotta defeat all of these. In that case, have her attack. This one's maybe. There's quite a few, yeah. No fear, my dear Manuela. Oh, hey. I have come he showed up again. You. That's random. Oh, he's all fired up, too. You came for me. <laughs> what? 
gonna be another one where a specific. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's a side mission. I'm just taking him out. There's so many side missions in this paralogue actually though. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, I really don't care about doing all these. You always were a natural at stage combat, Manuela. Especially the ones for like it just the map's massive. I don't feel like making sure that the correct person defeats each one if it's not necessary. Hmm. Yeah, it's possible, because Dorothea wasn't a uh Yeah, Dorothea wasn't noble, so Alrighty, let's go take out this last one. I always thought it was funny too how Grummers just start floating. That's just an effect of their uh them finally having strong magic or what? You done then? Oh yeah, that was it. So there's no point in doing that last one too. Oh my gosh. Jeez. <laughs> That was some... I mean, that's some devotion. I wasn't actually fishing, but I still like what we caught. It's good there you go, yeah, it's probably a bit of a confidence booster. Really love us. Especially bandits, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Quite sure how to feel a bit like random that. for it to be the bandits, but... Hey, it's something, you know? Alrighty, back to the main mission. I hope everyone oh, right Oliver after this. Made it safely to town. We had bandits popping out from yeah, we kind of just said, oh yeah, here, have fun, and then we fought a good chunk of the rest of the battle, so... They could have been ambushed again, for all we know. Mm-hmm. I'm impressed. I could never do that. Still, why were there so many bandits camped this close to a town? I don't know. Because of the war? Is it because of the opera company? Care to explain that? Of course. You see, mm. towns within the empire have begun tightening their security for fear of the enemy. Oh, okay. And in regions near the front line, such as this one here, makes it more difficult for the bandits then. More soldiers about. That leaves the bandits with no place to go. Sounds like they should just abandon the brigands' life and become mercenaries instead. Easier said than Yeah, done. maybe, but then they'll just die. Take the bandits we just fought. It's not as if they have a chain of command mm. or central organization. They are clearly a group that came together out of common interest and survival. Mm. Not any manner of grand military ambition. Guess that explains why they fought the way they did. All swagger and no plan. In any yep. case, I came the moment I heard about bandit activity in the area. I hypothesized the opera company might be target, and so rushed to your aid. Well done, Hanuman. That's a more clever course <laughs> of action than I expected from you. You gotta be so passive aggressive you about it. That yeah. Oh, don't be upset. In fact, you should be pleased I yeah, feel comfortable go. enough with you to speak my mind. It's nice how you two can be so yeah, there we go. each other. Encourage them. Well, that's certainly a more pleasant way to view things. That's mm -hmm. exactly how I try to look at it. <laughs> at least until oh my gosh. someone comes along and screws it up. All right, knock it off, you two. If you insist on indulging in these sparring sessions, at least have the courtesy to let the rest of us leave the area <laughs> first. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's leave them to it. No, wait! I apologize. Please just don't Please leave me alone with her. With oh my gosh. I'm also sorry. Let's just forget this ever happened and head back as one big happy family. Okay. 
Oh, there you go. That's one paralog. So we've got, again, I just... So we've got three to do, basically, that are new. Um... I don't anticipate needing anything here. Let's just hop into it and see what I have. What's that? The inexhaustible. Interesting. Reclaiming for Mercies. I really do wonder if this is where uh, Duke, uh, the former Duke Iyer dies, because he's been causing some issues. We can say that much about him. He's he's causing problems. If everyone is prepared, it's time to make our move. Hmm. Our troops attacking the gates have been instructed not to force not their way force in. Okay. Before long, the enemy will notice as much and realize we're already inside. Okay. We need to locate and strike down the rebel leader. That should put an end to the insurrection. Along the way, you may encounter mm -hmm. suspicious agents. They are the true masterminds behind the rebellion and must all be eradicated. Okay. Got it. Now let's get going before those bloodthirsty monsters hurt any of the hostages. Yeah, see, that's the big problem. Is they do have hostages. You would think they'd be, you know, using the hostages. I'm going to stop being a thorn in Her Majesty's side. Ah, how splendid. But do try not to become so... <laughs> Hubert just always, especially after that support conversation, just always patronizes Monica. Flush with rage every now and again. wouldn't have the complexion of a dweller. Quiet, both of you. <laughs> you don't have to do this, Ferdinand. Yeah. You can always stay back if you have doubts. No. No. Yeah. They put me on this I was gonna say, and this this is one of those situations where he he probably does need to be involved. We're probably not going to use him if we don't have to, but you know, be there. Yes, there's nobody recruitable here. That makes sense. I wasn't expecting there to be. We didn't even unlock all the strategies, all our strategy resources. Jeez, that's kind of funny, honestly. Just never really had the reason to, honestly. Yeah, 1,200 enemies, okay. See, he's saying all that stuff, but like... I mean... I don't know. People, myself included, can be really resistant to change, though. He's desperate, Ferdinand. You know, he doesn't really have any allies because he's causing issues. Great knights. Uh, oh my gosh, I brought Manuela and Edelgard. Ah. Completely forgot about that. Ooh, that is rough. I'm not going to restart the mission. It's probably fine. But I was about to say, oh, I have Lysithia. We'll be really strong. That's awkward. Probably fine. Edogard and Shez alone should be enough. In theory. Yeah, literally, Radis was about to say that. I was like, wait, I just did a paralogue. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Um. Oh, I can't warp. I was about to say, I might just warp myself up there. I'm getting the feeling we're gonna have to just do basically everything with Shez, though, and Edogard. I wonder, were you only able to take three units here? That would be interesting. Maybe it is a requirement to uh, take Ferdinand. That would make sense. And so that's why we have three units, and then it just auto-deploys them or something. That would be my next guess. Oh, that's a chest, not a switch. Either way, we've already defeated like a third of the enemies we need. This didn't appear to be as long of a story stage, given the time limit and everything, so... Can I go up here? don't know why our units are just kind of staying up there too. I feel like they like the clear out just even when you have them all on attack, if you don't give them specific orders. I do feel like the units literally like to just sit there and try and clear out every single enemy before they go somewhere. And as a result, they end up staying there for like a short eternity. Either way though, again, like, between our three warps and Shez just being Shez right now. I mean, Shez is level 68. I cannot imagine literally anything in this path or the third path being an issue if we needed to. I mean, I'm sure we could literally just use Shez to clear the rest of the game and both of the uh, the other path as well. 
not anything too new gameplay wise, but eh, that's really not that bothersome to me. I'm mostly here for the story at this point. Interesting. Yeah, outside the first path, there really wasn't any difficulty doing anything. Which makes sense, you know, at that point, Chez is still at the actual level of, like, everyone else. Oh, I was hoping that would... Oh, there we go. I have to say, I was hoping that would catch the stronghold captain there as well. Two-thirds of the way there. Well, we were just talking about Dorothy and Manuela's fans, and then we go back to Monica. Hey, it's grown. I was wondering if she was going to appear again. Oh, Dolophonus. What is that? This scam. A what? Okay, well, that's terrifying. How do we get rid of it? Oh, okay. Is the detached force to disable the control? Oh, it's Dorothea. That worked out well. Interesting. Yeah, admittedly, I was a little bit confused. I thought it was just going to be Ferdinand. That would have been disastrous because Ferdinand's like level 15. <laughs> ah, Cronia. I feel like she probably dies here. Just a thought. Yeah, especially since she has to do it by herself. Um, I mean, to be fair, there probably wouldn't have been a better unit for this we have right now, except for maybe Lysithia. Well, no, Byleth, Gerald, yeah. No, there were probably better options. I don't know if we... I literally wasn't paying attention because I assumed we'd have the same setup. So I don't know if we got to choose who the backup unit was, but... Either way, don't really anticipate failing this, so... Not a huge issue. Defeat Kron. Guess we probably don't need to be fighting every night along the way too. Interesting. I still don't know if the music notes do anything aside from just being a visual effect, actually. Like literally no idea. He kinda need if they like provided a buff or a little bit of free damage or something, but could not tell you. Uh, Dorothy doesn't even have a... Oh, she doesn't even have a right trigger ability. Now that I'm looking at it. Maybe it is a good thing that we gave the... Uh... What, this... This Shamir? I don't know. Who's that? It's one of two controls. Is she fighting... No, she just rescued the detachment. Okay. Cavalry slayer. Okay. Is there a gatekeeper? Main checkpoint, okay. Yeah, I feel like, well, I don't know how popular Kanye was actually, because she did, you know, murder Gerald in the original game, but then she also immediately died. So really couldn't tell you if people really, really hated her or not. I'd imagine they probably did because of that, but I don't know. But I'm surprised that she showed up again, given that, you know, she kind of just disappeared in the Alliance route, and then I don't think we ever saw her again. But it is interesting to see that there was actually, like, something, you know, follow up regarding. Isn't Paulus the one that just murdered her, too? Or is that Solon? I don't actually remember. Oh, 
Yeah, Cronia definitely dies here. There's no way. We've definitely defeated enough enemies, too. We do probably just need to hide Cronia. Sorry. But you're uh, probably going to die here, if I had to imagine. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, if that's what opened the gates to, I can't imagine she lives in any path. She's technically an antagonist, too, so it's kind of... Why are there so many Dark Knights? They really did go all out and summon all their allies, huh? Rebel army appeared, I think. Quite a lot of them, actually. How many of them didn't? Where is? Did we get everyone? I think we got everyone there. Okay. I don't know how we made it, but we did. On the fire orbs! We'll rain death down upon them from above. Fire orbs? Those must be new. A little gauche, if you ask me. <laughs> they look real dangerous, though. Also, what's a gauche? Viscount <laughs> Finya. Viscount mm. Finya. Forgive me. I'm coming for you, father. Hey, it's not happening. Hey, look, it's the former Duke Iyer. Time to die. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. It's already... He's all the strong ones, oh, okay. Don't we have them already? Oh, okay, there's more enemies to deal with. Yeah, we've already basically taken control of everything. How are we doing on time? Yeah, I was gonna say, time's actually cutting it a little bit close in this minute, but... Gonna shadow warp up here, maybe. I think that's the closest. Still improving. There. Oh, they went the other way. That's awkward. Come back. Oh my gosh, why are they so fast? Want to stop both of them first? Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna do this. Mm. Oh, here okay, we got a cutscene. That is enough. There is no escape for you. Mm. Oh, well, that was violent. Well, you believe me nothing. He did say if someone was gonna strike me down, it has to be Ferdinand, so No. You are just a traitor now. Hmm. In light of your crimes against the Empire, the punishment oh. is death. Kind of expected this, but like that's violent. Oh, he just accepts it too. Why is the Empire Path always so violent <laughs> compared to like everyone else? Jeez. 
Also, take the soldiers under your command and begin okay. investigating any magic okay. constructs abandoned by the enemy. At once, Lord Hubert. <sighs> it must be awful to end your own parents' life. Yeah. Come on, Ferdinand. Let's get going. No. You may continue without me. Probably needs a moment. I'd like to stay here a moment. Just a moment longer. Hubert, we have a messenger from the Alliance. And I need hmm. to know where our Western campaign okay. stands. Ferdinand, We've been away from the battlefield for a few chapters now. At least with the kingdom, so pretty crazy. Father's followers now that they've surrendered. Uh. Furthermore, this incident has led to the end of Fenda hmm. and several other noble... I'm genuinely surprised that they decided to... to settle the matter of the next Duke Iyer. Side with Duke Iyer, though, that seems a little bit odd. So Maybe people who also didn't want to give up any noble status potentially or anything like that, but it just seems like... Like... What? Not likely. I the troops, and I will find a way to administer my father's lands. You can trust in me, your okay. majesty. And... Thank you. Yeah. I think she was really trying to be gentle around that because seriously, like, given what just happened, pretty rough. Yeah, I completely forgot about paralogs changing what units we had. Didn't end up making a difference, but still kind of funny. The inexhaustible. There's a bunch of support levels. Oh gosh, the number of support conversations we're gonna have every time is pretty crazy. I never expected we'd have our hands this full after oh, returning. One second, gotta Paris. answer my door real quick. Be right back. Okay. Still, we've managed to quell the turmoil and maneuver our way back to Enbar. Due to the valiant efforts of Count Burgess and his Aryan Road garrison, the kingdom's mm. counteroffensive has hardly put a dent in Western lines. I wager the reinforcements reached them in time. It's a good thing we do not have to maintain a large military presence in yeah. Western. There we go. But of course, that was Her Majesty's plan all along. Well, if um, Almira doesn't actually end up attacking the Alliance, you know, can't imagine they're in the worst position, honestly. Yeah. Maybe not the way that they wanted to go about it, but not terrible. Yeah. Alright, Dorothea. I have moved on. That's funny, though. I was sure my father would take part in the rebellion, mm. but he just... I mean, I feel like all he ever did was complain about her well, to be fair, Bernadetta's father was also put into a position of power, so... That too, but what is our next action, Lady he was put into a big position of power and is currently in Garrick Maw. Makes me wonder if they try to take it back at any point. Because we did fight, um, again, initially when Claude went to actually fight alongside Edelgard for the first time. I think it was also maybe the first time in that route we fought Dimitri. I thought it was in Garrick Maw. Hmm. Mm-hmm. We were successful in striking down Cronia at Fort Mercius. However, Lord Arendelle, which is to say Talus, remains at large. 
And any scheme Solon may be plotting are so much conjecture in the wind. I wonder if there's going to end up being DLC units for this game. I'd imagine they'll probably add some because the past few games have, but... I know there were a couple extra units like Anna and the original Warriors that were available in History Mode. But I don't think History Mode's a thing in this game, so... Makes me kind of think that that's not the case. Unless their aim is simply to prevent the war from ending by any means possible. Which is possible. Court mage Cornelia is connected to those who oh, Cornelia is in this game. Yeah, I... Mm. They may have planted other yeah. associates in Fargus as well. If they already have mm. the king's court dancing on strings, it stands to reason they would focus their attention on obstructing the empire. Yeah, you'd imagine, probably. Hangs together. But does that mean we should expect more interference? We should, your majesty. Though I would at least like to think they no longer have anyone left who can act brazenly in the open. Yeah, well, we just got rid of Solon and Cronia relatively close to each other, so... Oh, are they really gonna... Wow. That's messed up. That's fair, but that's kind of messed up. As well as the late Duke Eyre. And he wasn't even replaced with a doppelganger. Mm. People who come in contact with those who slither in the dark are not the same afterward. How am I to trust anyone in a world where such a thing can happen? I do yeah. not disagree, Your Majesty. Oh, so you were about to defend us? Well, we Maybe not. remain vigilant until the war is over for good and all. Although I wonder if we can rest easy even then. Mm. Yeah, it's rough. I mean, again, we are the ones with the Empire who instigated the war at the end of the day, but... I was thinking this would be a chance to learn about my power, or who you actually are. I do wonder if this route gives us something conclusive that happened to Tallis as well. Well, is that all you have to say for yourself? I mean, I'm still curious, but my attention right now is on the battles ahead. And hey, it's not like knowing the truth would change much for you anyway. Even if I am related to those slithering people somehow... It's not like I'd want to mm. split up with you. That's music to my ears. Uh, it's incredible to see oh, thanks, how fast you've matured. Again, if it's 16 chapters, though, we only have like it's three more chapters, which, if Endgame is fighting Rhea again, uh, yeah. Get, anyway, really makes me wonder how things are going to conclude this fast. It's pretty crazy, though, because if it's three pass with 16 chapters, not even counting the potential split if you save... Uh, I mean, if you recruit Violet versus if you, you know, don't recruit Violet and Gerald, it's quite a lot of chapters compared to the original Warriors. Although, again, the absence of a history mode arguably makes up for that uh, difference in content, but, you know, just kind of crazy. Because there's also all of these extra stages every stage as well, which kind of also, also makes up for that. Just kind of blows my mind how much there actually is in comparison. Because here's the history mode stage is just kind of felt like filler stages a lot of time it was cool to get like all those progressive stages in level because here we're just kind of blowing through everything end game and we probably will continue to do so in new game plus but it was cool to kind of get like okay we well, got their specific weapons you unlock their potential then the opus all that stuff but still i don't know Phase of our campaign, we'll be working with the alliance's leader, Claude, to tighten our cordon around the kingdom. Okay, so Claude is finally showing up. On the Western Front. We'll I still just remember him being like, Yeah, so we're just gonna sit outside the Empire, like, they'll have to, I mean, the kingdom. They can't just ignore us, but don't really have to do anything. I hope we can finally end it this time. Mm. I don't think I can deal with doubling back again. Agreed. Don't jinx it. Slog has slogged on long enough. Worry not, friends. I'll not be blindsided twice. Okay. I promise you that. We won't rest until all of Bodlin is united. We will fight tooth and nail for it. And we'll do so together. So, we're finally dusting off our armor and going somewhere, huh? Yeah. You must really want to end this war if you're letting the two of us loose on the kingdom. Quite right, Captain Geralt. We will not accept anything less than the fall of the royal capital. You and your mercenaries will be marching with us. This is oh, there you go. They're still our allies at this point. I wonder if we're gonna have another battle though, where Violet is just kind of minding her own business with us, and then Arvo takes over us and it's like, nope, you're dying now. Be interesting. Yeah. I feel like Gerald kind of trying to sort out all that stuff is gonna be 
the most interesting if we side with the kingdom. Maybe that's just me though, but we made some headway on we'll the western see. front once the empire pulled its main force back. What does it matter when their minister of military affairs still holds Aryan road? Even if we were in a position to keep throwing a lot of weird looking hats in the kingdom too. But if we keep digging our heels in here, mm. their main force will be on us again in no time. It appears they have already mm. dealt with the insurrection at Fort Mercius. If they don't come at us from the west, they'll soon waltz right in from the east. Okay. Might I offer a suggestion, King Dimitri? Of course, Lady Reyna. We should retake Garrett Mark. It is the only way to reverse our current fortunes. If I call upon the church of Spiritual, they will come running from every corner of Foldland to liberate the monastery in the goddess's name. Maybe. With Garrett Mark under our control, we will be able to keep the Imperial army in check. Additionally, it might convince some of the more fickle Alliance Lords to reconsider their loyalties. I mean no disrespect, Lady Rhea, but this proposal hardly seems... There is more. Mm. As you know, the Bishop of the Southern Church... Yeah, Bernadette, his father. At the monastery. I've been wondering if he's gonna die. It reminds the world anew that Archbishop Rhea is the rightful head of the Church of Seros. I believe this will shake some of the more devout Adrestian Lords from their Emperor's grip. While their faith may waver mm, maybe. Now, is still I mean, we did just kind of quash a lot of the rebellion in Empire territory. There are yet many pious believers among their nobility. If we can pull them to our side, it may shift the war back in our favor. So you just have some random knight. I mean, the knight brings up a good point, but that's just a random knight of Saros. Hold, Lady Rhea. While I now concede that your plan to retake the monastery has some merit, oh, okay. I must ask that you alert no one. And why not? I need only say the word, and an army of believers will flock to our cause. Yes, and the moment the enemy spies people flooding in from across... Hill, yeah, I was going to say, that's going to call both the kingdom, I mean the empire and the alliance, and make your job harder. You'll get some more allies, but... Maybe. Yeah. In that case, what do you propose? We entrust the eastern lines to houses Karen and Galatea, then ride in mass toward Arian Road. The enemy will think we intend to assail the Silver Maiden, but instead we break east. Okay, so they're doing a bait and switch. Then we'll be attacking the monastery through the Valley of Torment. I get your thinking now. If we attack from the west, Aryan Road would be at our backs, and the Empire could box us in. Very well. I have no objections. That's fair. My church members I get Rhea's idea of trying to get as many extra people as you can, but seriously, like... The monastery is holy and precious. Hmm. Interesting. By the name of the goddess, I swear, it will be ours again. Good. Then I'll ready the troops. Lady Rhea, Seteth, I place all of our futures in your hands. Okay. He doesn't seem to have... Hmm. I wonder. It just doesn't seem to be quite the same way of doing things as it was with, uh, you know, before. Is that one, two, three... Yeah, we really haven't had any recruitable units in quite a few chapters as far as the Persuade mission goes. Actually been kind of surprising to me. Might as well. Extra healing in forts could make things a little bit easier on us genuine in the long run. Depends on what we have to defend in this chapter. Let me double check though. Let me... I think everybody has their master class at this point. We could be using different classes, I just don't release to the point in doing so. Hmm. Yeah, I think everyone... Yeah, everyone has their... Okay. That makes things easier. Also makes it less of a concern as far as having people mastered, because yeah. Pretty sure, yeah. I'm just going to use all these points in. We could switch people around for affinity, but again, it's just kind of getting tedious at this point. There we go. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Head over here. 
Spear dust, that's good for Violas. Any results a good result. Let's see. Oh, we do probably need to go to the tactics instructor at some point. Like I said, if nothing else, I'm probably gonna level up Ashes and Mercedes. Uh, talent just up there. A little bit more usable at the start of our next playthrough. That'll eat through a good chunk of our gold. I'd like to continue upgrading weapons, but seriously, that just, like, chews through gold. It's insane. This uses a fair amount, but I wouldn't say it's more than, like, 15k for a single person to go all the way maxed out. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know. I wasn't counting. That's 2k, 3k, 4.5, uh, 5.5, 7, 8, 9.5, 10, 11.5. Okay, so it's probably close to like 20k. Fair amount, but still. Not nearly as much as just upgrading a weapon a single time with like a reforge. Costs like a little bit over 30k to max out theirs. Okay. I'm just gonna do a cook. I'm just tired of doing all the, uh... It's funny because it's chores, but... Just seems like a bit of a moot point past a bit. Yeah, we'll just do something like this. I, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it's helpful. Let's do this, maybe. Do we do it perfectly? Nope. <laughs> Even with the facility maxed and, like, taking people who like the meal, I feel like we don't max out the, uh, like, a perfect on this cook a whole lot. Which, to be fair, doesn't happen a whole lot with the chores. I really would have thought that it would be, like, perfect every time. Let's see, though. Who have we got? Oh, we've got A-Rank with Hubert. See if he actually trusts us. I wonder when we... Oh, no, we have unlock a ring with Edelgard. Okay. That makes sense. We're nearing the end of our own, like, chapter 14, I think. Good news. We've dislodged another foothold. Those who mm. slither in the dark held an empire territory. Good news? That's mm -hmm. great. So that soldier was one of theirs after all, huh? He was. It's uncanny how you managed to identify their agents so precisely. Ordinary spies... Okay, so she's still a little bit suspicious of us. I'd like to say it's just intuition, mm. but there's more to it than that. It's my power. Their magic is almost identical to the one I use. So it's not oh, okay, that makes sense too. I guess we have Hubert to thank for connecting the dots between the two. How strange that you would hold such an important key. The more I look back, the more I realize without you among I was going to say you could be suspicious of us, but it's still being helpful to you now. In the dark is so, on the I don't know. Me? What did I do? By this point, I mean, if we really were connected to them and allied with them, we've literally dismantled most of their main forces. The two were almost inseparable, and so I turned a blind eye to the lives that were being lost mm. to their cruel designs, opting instead to focus my energy on preparing for war. Mm -hmm. That's fair, though. Edelgard clearly has a lot on her mind. Kill two snakes with one stone, as it were. You were the cog that was missing from the turn wheel. The one final push that urged me That's to nice. Uh, yeah. Still be a little bit concerned, honestly. Uh, not concerned, confused if I was Chess here, but still nice of her to say. Forgive me. You may be the only person I know who would look in every <laughs> in the eye and speak their But we are a mercenary. Not exactly one who is super... doing it too. Eh, maybe. Yes, I can see your point. <laughs> it was my mistake. I like how approachable Edelgard seems, though, in this game. Maybe that was kind of the case in Three Houses, but Edelgard and Hubert I had a harder time with in uh, Three Houses. And maybe that's partially because, you know, we obviously had to earn their trust here. But maybe that is partially because as well, the Empire Path is split into the Tear Trot. Having a dedicated Empire Path is pretty neat. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are a mercenary. And at that point, even without being the Emperor, she was the Crown Princess to the Emperor. And hey, I was right about you. I wouldn't be shining half as bright as I am today if I didn't hitch my wagon to yours. Trust me, no regrets here. That's nice. <laughs> hmm. Probably need to have a serious talk here. Victory is so close I can almost smell it. And I'll be right here by your side the rest of the way. No stopping till we've united all of Fodland. We will reach the end of this mm -hmm. path soon. All of us. 
together. We are getting close to it. Talk to Hubert Rinke. Hmm. <laughs> Why are you always doing that? Jeez. A question, if I may. Have you had any hmm. further contact with our slithering friends since that day? Not Can't imagine so. Why? Do you know something? Yes, actually. What with the riots hmm. in Grim territory and the former Duke Ayer's attempted rebellion. Yeah, there was that. Thanks to that, we now have a lead on the insurgents within the Empire, oh, okay. as well as those who slither in the dark. Speaking to the latter, I also tried to determine if they had been attempting to reach you. Or otherwise thought you an ally. Okay. Well. But at present, it seems neither. Regrettably, isn't isn't that a good thing? Well, maybe not getting more info on them, but you, you know, been a lot no reason to antagonize them though. The, of the, the more we complain about it, I mean, much as it stinks, like I would have hoped I'd earned your trust by now. it's only going to raise the suspicion of us anyway. It's not going to help anything. Not to say I don't get where you're coming from. The Emperor's right-hand man can't afford to let his guard down. Believe me, it brings me no joy and, in fact, some guilt. Really? Okay. But I must be prepared for any eventuality. That's good to hear, at least. Must I have made even my greatest enemy feel as though they are a trusted friend. Yet, at times, I have also shown extreme suspicion towards those who were, in all manner. He's one of those, though, in a position where he has to be very careful. It it stinks again, but like it's kind of the position he mentions. That's kind of the role he has to play. You really are something, you know that. I'm just glad we're on the same side. I must admit, I only tell you all this because I do, in fact, consider you deserving. Hey, that's nice. Even if you were once connected to those who slithered in the dark, that is clearly behind you now. So believe me when I say. Thank you, Hubert. The utmost confidence in you. He's so much more likable in this game, I swear. I'm not sure how much you really mean that, but I'm glad to hear you say it at least. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Hubert. How very diplomatic. Just the response. I don't I know if that's expect. diplomatic. It's genuinely nice of him to say. Be good for us to hear. That, our problem now is what lurks beneath your mind's veneer. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I can sense another you. Bubbling away behind the one you present to the Oh, can you actually sense Arvel? That's crazy. Intuition. What really worries me is that you may one day shed this husk mm. you bear now. Maybe. Become that, that is kind of what happened with those who kind of showed up as those who slither in the dark. Another me, huh? Well, I appreciate the concern, but even mm. if that someone does exist, I won't let them overtake me. I mean, come on. I'd shove that other me Ah. Uh, I guess to be fair, maybe Arvel doesn't count as another us, but still. Just so we're clear, kind of, you know. You have anything to worry about. Very well. I suppose I will have to take Ow, I just popped my foot really hard, hoops. In any case, I hope that as we inscribe Fodlin's new future, <laughs> we do so. I'm really glad. By our side. Took a little bit of work, but again, he's kind of in a position where he has to be careful of everyone. We're working through our support. Let's do one more. Maybe two words. Here it was... Just Bernadetta? Okay. They only have one here, it seems. What? Ah, Bernadetta. I see the documents I was waiting for have finally arrived. <laughs> Hubert! I'm then would you be so kind as to hand those over? Oh, unless she's looking through his mail. Me, That's a federal offense in the United States, so, you know. Oh, um, right. Engelgard asked me to bring them Never mind. That's what I thought, but still, you know. Old records of bandit activity in this area that I need for my investigation. Hey, that reminds okay. me. I heard we had a group of bandits cornered, but they sort of... Got they? away. <laughs> yes, a most vexing development. It beggars belief that our troops prove unable to exterminate even these few strange <laughs> He just like he's so like I don't know what's the word acidic with people that he's not close to, but again it's nice that he's kind of lowered his guard a bit around us. That's good. He just took like what three support conversations? And like fourteen chapters. Are you aware of how 
your persistence often leads to the very outcome yeah. you wish to avoid. I mean, um, yes. In any event, my mood is what it is because I must now locate. Yeah, he has to chase him down. He really does have to clean up a lot of things. Whereas Claude really didn't rely on us a whole lot, to be fair. Even as he kind of said like, oh, don't worry, I'll rely on you more. Claude really did kind of take things into his own hands. Whereas Edelgard from the start did rely quite a bit on Hubert. Yes, but there is nothing for it. These craven rats will not re-emerge once they've burrowed into their nests. Mm -hmm. Hey, neat! I definitely understand the desire to burrow in somewhere and never come out. <sighs> <laughs> and stuff they might slip up and leave maybe possibly i mean everyone loves festivals except when there are people around which is usually the case yeah that's kind of the point of a festival bernadetta so i suspect you would not emerge for my water most magnificent of carnivals however you and the rats may differ on that point Ugh. i feel like i don't drink enough water and then i get headaches all the time have no particular desire to live away yeah. from others we have had them on the run for some time which means they've not been able to earn coin through their usual underhanded work oh, that makes Plus, sense if i were to prepare a place where they could cut a few easy purses they might consider the spoils oh, he's trying to bait him out risk. um okay and the bait shall be a festival that's not what I thought he was going to say. Well, so that does make sense. Well, I don't know if that's quite how it played out, but still, you know. He's trying to be nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Require your assistance in this matter from now on. Someone free poor Bernie from this torment. Oh my gosh. She just runs away. Oh my gosh, that's really funny. Let's get into the Which battlefield are you chapter here. To? Cats and dogs, mercenary complications. Okay, well that's a new one. That, I... Don't... No, oh, that's a level 50. But if our Shamir and our Leone are pretty leveled, but... Okay. Once again, these two aren't new, but I think this one is. We had Shamir and Leone before. Oh, you know what? No, this isn't new. This is the one where Shamir talks about how she has to go deal with a former employee by herself who is actually interested in Shamir. And Leonie's just kind of like, she doesn't really get it. But okay, never mind then. So these three are not new. I guess that makes sense. Any character that we did have for at least a couple of chapters, I'd assume, in Golden Wildfire, just interesting. But yeah, these three are not new in the slightest. But... These four are good enough. Okay. Then maybe I'll take care of those off stream just so we don't have to see them. Makes it easier to kind of figure out which ones are new as well. Long story short, the kingdom is preparing to ride west with a huge army. It looks like they're going to throw everything they've got at Aryan Road. Yes. Okay, they're finally showing up. We have received similar reports. It's a pretty strange thing to do. I don't trust it. Then you believe it to be a feint. Interesting. Okay. Well, well, if true, there are only so many maybe. places they could go. They cannot ignore our troops and attempt to take Deirdre. That would be so. The only other place I can imagine they would be after is Garrick Mark. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So what's our plan? That's exactly what their plan was. So it's we good that Clon had that we'll thought. Have to send more troops to defend it, but at the same time, we can't unclench the fist we are trying to bring down on the kingdom. Our only choice is to mobilize the full resources of our regions. Like a woman yeah, with might that's a thought. I'm afraid we in the Alliance are already at our limits. But hear me out for a second. 
If the kingdom really intends to attack Eric Mach, they won't approach from the Wow, he is literally seeing straight through Dimitri. It's pretty crazy. Although that is a good point, but still. You're saying they'll take the northern approach through Aero. Yep, the Valley of Torment, which just so happens to be the route we were planning to use oh, ourselves. Okay. That also explains the why he kind of sees through it a bit. Every night they've got, and that is a very big yeah, they still have Catherine. Supposed and, uh, Sedeth and Flane. And Cyril's still alive, isn't he? Should we change our Guess he only really died in the last age. After he attacked, like, four times, it was pretty crazy. In fact, I vote we do the opposite. The kingdom will catch on no matter mm -hmm. how we try to deploy our troops. So I say let's meet them right there in Aelo. Interesting. Okay. But the valley path is treacherous and difficult to navigate. Which will blunt the impact of our... Yeah, that's the big numbers. advantage we have over the kingdom's numbers. Play into the enemy's hands like that? It's kind of nice being on the side of the Empire because of that, too. advantage can be a double-edged sword. Leveling the playing field can often be the key to bringing an opponent down, especially if you know you can handle it. Besides, what better way to keep casualties to a minimum than by finishing them off in one battle? You know how to convince me. Very well. I can get behind this plan. Is there anything you would like to add, Hilda? You appear to be deep in thought. Huh? Who, me? No, I'm good. I'm just standing mm. in because Clat asked me to. Yeah, Holst isn't here. If it brings the war to an end quicker, I am all for it. I don't know, more supplies don't really care. We'll collect them here in a second, but don't think it's that necessary to collect every bit. Let's give this a try. Curse the amount of experience given to the Kingdom of Arts of Magic. Yeah, fair enough. We are trying to level up hers. Doesn't hurt. Oh, Mercedes wanted to go on an expedition. We probably should have done that. Uh, unless she still does? Maybe? Nope. Oops. <laughs> she is one of the units that we probably wanted to. Smithing stones. Yeah, a lot of these are requirements that we're just not gonna worry about. Combat level for lances, huh? Give it to him. What you think? I think it just levels up a random one, so maybe it's one that we haven't even been using, but still. Maybe it prioritizes. I'd imagine it probably prioritizes though, um one that you're actively, you know, you have equipped, otherwise that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense, but still. We will go collect those here. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Let's take a look at our weapons here. Again, I want to keep a stockpile of money for the next path because we're going to have so many just straight up new units, but still. So we could reforge her sword here. Reforging itself doesn't cost a whole lot, but still. Just gives us the opportunity, you know, to raise the strength a little bit more. Umbral steel. Okay. We're getting to the point where we may need to... Hmm go trade in some more smithing stones so we can get the resources. I still don't know if she actually gets- I don't remember what her signature quote-unquote weapon was called. Because this says it's the Crest of Saros. But, I mean, it's working, so I'm not really too worried about it. Okay, let's see. I wanted to repair that, um, yeah, hot glare. Because this is pretty neat, neat uh, four of yours by the Imperial Iron Corps. I thought it was Minerva's signature weapon. Maybe others used it, though. Yeah, the only big weapon I think that I know we can get... I don't know if there's a fancy rusted gauntlets or something like that. But I know we have in forward Gravitus, the lance. So we could be taking all the extra fights, though. What other special pressure to use dust? Oh, that's um, that's a Nets weapon. Hmm. Well, in any case... Uh... It's hard to convince myself to invest too, too much more in Edelgard because we're not going to have her for the next playthrough. Unfortunately, just the way it goes. Maybe... Yeah, that's so much money. 27k plus the 6k to uh raise it and all the ore. That's a lot of investment just to raise the, uh, the strength of that weapon just a little bit. In fact, we don't even have enough, I don't think, to go all the way to the max here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is this it? The Sword of Zoltan, um, I don't know if there's a stronger weapon for Shez. 
maybe if we used one of the relics, but as it stands, I mean, eh, don't really care. Yeah, there's all the, uh, yep. Not needing these building materials and being able to trade them for smithing stones basically just gave us, like, an unlimited supply, I swear. Um, didn't really use these, so it's boot steel we've used, and umbro steel we've used a fair amount. Let's go for, like, maybe here. Trade in some more resources. This is kind of one of those housekeeping things that I'd usually do off stream, but eh. Might as well do it while we're here. That should be good for now. Grab, yeah. Resources for now. I kind of want to do another parallel while we're here. Again, we have three now that just don't need to be done on stream. That I, I'm just going to do these off stream most likely. Just so that they're out of the way. But it's one, two, three, four that are new. They are a much higher level though. Some of these level 50 ones. Like my, uh, my Linhardt's in the 30s I think. And my Gaspar is in the... Ooh, I think Gaspar is in like the... I think he's still like level 15, so maybe we'll need to gather up some golden to do that, or I'll just use Chez, honestly. We've done the level like 27, 32s with, um, without them, but, you know, doesn't hurt. Let's do... Oh, is this time? Maybe we should do this one then. I don't know if that means it's only limited... Again, the ones with like Edelgard and such are probably only limited the path, but I don't know if that means we can't do it if we continue on a little bit further. So let's do that right now. I didn't even see the clock before. You are the last to arrive. Okay. These are the four units we'll be using. Yuritsa and Hubert are pretty low level. Yeah. What's going on? Please illuminate me. Why did that race affection with Petra? Interesting. Jeez. You're a mage, to be fair. Neither fighting or hunting have toughness for me. I am fighting, and others are falling. It is a thing of ease. Get on with it. Yes. Well, setting the question of toughness aside. He's so, he's stuck on that. He's like, really? Do I not look tough to you? I'm taller than them. Small scale raid on Garrick Mach. Oh, okay. So if it was after we'd done all the stuff with Garrick Mach, that probably wouldn't have still been available. Well, I'm glad we didn't just wait to do it. I don't know if we missed out on a Paralog then in Golden Mothfire, because I didn't do them all until the end. Interesting. I have knowledge of stopping assassins. Hmm. Let us be going with all haste. It's Just not like you recruit any units or anything on these, though. It's just a little bit of extra store, and then usually the reward's a battalion, yes. so... You've got an entire eh. army at your disposal. Why use so small a force? If we suddenly increase yeah. our presence at Garrick Mark... Oh, yeah, this is definitely timed. Since it's mentioning that the knights are slowly trying to attack Garrick Mock, and so we're trying to... Well, I think we've had this one available for a hot second, though, so maybe it's just... Until they attack Garrick Mock. Right, but I get what you're going for. Even if the flies are strong, mm. it all ends the same. Oh, he's smiling. You both remain as inspiring as ever. Now mm. then, as we will be heading out tomorrow, we okay. best get our preparations settled quickly. Seeing as you are a long tenured mercenary of some renown, I will leave the guard and count on this person to you. Oh, yeah, he is in the monastery. Kind of surprised he didn't call him Bernadetta then, but fair enough. There wasn't she also very nervous around her father, so maybe she didn't want to. I mean, you talk like I'm the world's yeah. greatest mercenary, but I'm really just another. Half the time, I can't tell if Hubert trusts us or he doesn't. Pathetic. <laughs> if such is true. Jeez. Why did her I mean, the support conversation was nice, but. Yeah. Okay. A fair point. If you okay. fight with confidence, you will never be losing. I will okay. do what I must. Again. Yes. Yes. Very well. Now. As far as Garrick Mach's current military capability. Yep, so we're just defending from Night Assassins. Okay. Gotta defend Count Varley. Level 20 Hubert, level 15 Yuritza. Petra. This is only a level 32 mission. Um, I didn't check how many enemies we had to defeat. Hmm. Ultimately, we've just been assigning our lower level characters to guarding the uh, defensive target, though. So. 1,200, 13 minutes, okay. 
Yeah, let's have them, just so they don't go out and get themselves murdered, too. Just in case. As always, it helps to have a couple units by the defensive target. But, yeah. Oh, he's going that way. Well, that's awkward. So just gonna go out and take on some enemies, though. Knights of Saros appeared, huh? I <laughs> think he's just already panic panicking. Yeah, Petra's strong enough to do this. And she misses. We did make Petra into a dancer. I don't know if that's actually the correct decision. I just feel like her kind of design matches dancer. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. You could argue Yuri would also be a good option for it. I think stat-wise, technically, Byleth and Shez would be decent for it. Because, well, Shez doesn't naturally, I think, have that much magic, but Byleth is pretty even. But they already have their special classes, so I wasn't really ever going to do that, you know? We are not doing that much damage. I th not terrible, but we're also using our weapon points pretty fast on Petra. Little bit concerning. Here we go. Perfect. Yeah, it would have been easier if we just kind of kept Shez back there, but I didn't uh, didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know why she started out with a uh, one of the A charge bars as well. That was really helpful. Barley is going this way, so that's helpful. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. It's one of those like she clearly doesn't necessarily want to just erase the church. I don't think. Same thing with Claude. They just wanted to oppose the current leaders, which I think largely consists of like Sedeth and uh, Rhea, so. Mm. Oh, yeah, there they are. Let's just head back that way, we're close. I'm tempted to just have Petra start capturing bases though, just in case we need him later. I don't know if we will, but it probably doesn't hurt. Was it just a- oh, nope, it's like three snipers. I was about to say, is it just one? Oh, there we go. That one didn't take any damage. Oops. Perfect. Hmm. Quite a lot of enemies. This seems like... Eh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds a lot like Bridget, though. Kind of a violent place. He still doesn't have to deal with everything going on in the Empire for the most part. They're vassals of the Empire, but not quite the same thing, I wouldn't say. Where is... Okay. Wow, they are relentless on trying to get rid of Count Varley. It's pretty wild. It makes sense, but still, it's just a lot of enemies. Oh my gosh, just stop that. Payback 4, huh? That's Swordmasters, huh? Send Petra after the one on the bottom. Uh, is that a side mission? Honestly, if that's a side mission, I'm just gonna stick with Count Barley. Where did... oh. I was about to say, where did he go? You suppose? Well, you're not dead, so... There's that. Yeah, that would make sense. to appear he stopped moving never mind oh. 
There we go. Petra's currently fighting. Wait, wasn't it a sword master that we had to stop? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Okay. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Just give us a second. Yeah, I get the feeling the paralog when we're doing like level 50 units with the spar and uh... Who was the other one? That were both like level 15. If I don't give them some uh, experience, it's going to be pretty painful. So we'll probably need to go ahead and do that while we're uh, grinding up. Just a thought though. I guess the paralogs also aren't necessary, but if they're there, why not, you know? Is that their leader? No, that's just an archer. <laughs> it's the most unnecessary cutscene when they just show one person firing some arrows. I swear. I think we've already probably defeated about as many enemies as we need to, so let's just rush the objectives here, I'd say. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of them. Did we we did take this for okay. Yeah, that teleport's still really handy. There we go. Swordmaster and the allies. I don't see the last ally, I see two on the map. Maybe they're just bunched up or something. Oh yeah, they were just bunched up. He does ask us to do that, yeah. In her uh, airing support conversation, I think it was. I'm going back inside and never <laughs> outside the monastery. Uh, like father, like daughter. I see where Bernadetta gets it from. Mm. Makes me wonder how her mother is, because her mother seems to be a bit more of an encouraging figure. That's yes, Rank. Well, at least they're getting levels this way. I suppose. Up and inspection of the walls, sir. We also cleared out the knights of Saros's base at the foot of Garrett. Oh, okay, that's where they had a base up. He has been routed and is now engaged in a full retreat. Well done. That should keep us secure for the time being. Still, we will want to remain vigilant, Count. But you just said we are secure. That doesn't mean you can just let your guard down, though. Yeah, we're in the middle of a war. Military offenses in the near future. But if not military, ah, uh, of course. <laughs> I get it. We'll be sneaking yeah. through the back door instead of trying to send out assassins. That way to make the dude even more paranoid. Honestly. Imagine another assassination attempt is already in the works. <laughs> Probably something. Oh gosh. Poison or a dagger. I shudder to think of those zealots out for my blood. Mm -hmm. I entreat you to protect me, Baron Barnabas. After all, I won't Good always have Barnabas. the of the Imperial household here to save me. The war has reached a critical stage. His wisdom will soon be needed elsewhere. Mm -hmm. As steward of Garrick Mock, my life is in your hands. I will do what I can. To start, I want you to confirm the identity of the person okay. and leaving. That's the fair, but still. Also, the gatekeeper must hear of these new attempts on my oh, it's the gate yeah. Good old gatekeeper. Most keen. That one is far too casual for my liking. Yes. Well, enough of this. I must be off. Of course, Count. Okay. Stronger than he looks, though not inclined to fight. He is reminding me of certain woodland creatures. Oh, okay. Though he is a fighter of much weakness, he has a talent <laughs> to remain. When you put it like that, he comes off like some sort of mastermind. I don't know if I'd say that, but, but he's our ally in some way. Yeah. Some way or another. Crafty is it? Hmm. What? Well, sure. Think it's inaccurate? I mean, the two of you are nobles, and I'd say you're as cunning as they come. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hubert and Yurita are both nobles full of cleverness. Don't forget to include yourself among that number. After all, 
I specifically selected the Oh, now you're trying to rope us into it. When the enemy is neck deep in skullduggery, I need soldiers who are adept at thinking on their feet. I'm like you. Really? That's great. That's great. Only a jest, I assure you. Since it clearly pleases you so, I must admit there was some truth behind it. Good. Glad we got that settled. I tire of this. Farewell. He's just gonna leave. He sure yeah. knows how to make an exit. He should be going as well. It lacks wisdom to be far from the base for too long. <laughs> but if you wish to be joining me for a small hunt, oh, okay. we will be passing through woodlands on the way back. Sure, if it's on the way. I wonder how much she has had to hunt. Happiness. We will be landing a nice catch, then return home. Maybe a bear oh, okay. or a boar. Yeah, that's not really what <laughs> I'd call a small hunt. Yeah. Petra? Hey, wait up! Wonder what she considers a large hunt then. Maybe it's quantity or something, I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna need any more. Oh yeah, Lance of Zoltan. Axe of Zoltan. Love Zoltan. Those are all good things. Maybe I'll do these uh on my own time. Because I doubt we'll be finishing the story today. But we are getting to the point where those S rank rewards could be helpful. Because the uh the Zoltan weapons are clearly I don't know if they're top top tier, but they're they're very close. Very helpful. Scroll of Talos, huh? Yep. I'm not worried about my activity points. Like, legitimately at this point, we'll probably use them at the beginning of the Kingdom Path, but it really has gotten to the point where it just feels a little bit tedious to keep using them every time. Not useless. But just a little bit tedious, and I'm not going to worry about it. Again, I'm not looking to 100% everything. If I was, we would, but I'm not. I just want to do one of each path on stream. Hmm. So we need to assume they also know yeah. ours. I mean, it's hard to move an army in secret. And bloody. <laughs> but no matter what happens, we must emerge victorious. At the very least, we have numbers on our side. Though the kingdom has all of those heroes' relics, mm -hmm. that can't be good for us. We must yeah. keep our yeah. eyes open, and we must stay on the same page. We can't have anyone rushing ahead to fashion themselves a hero. I'd say yeah. Things are heating up, but that's just the ground literally burning. <laughs> it's sweltering. Whose idea was it to mm, wait? I mean, Catherine died in a volcano on the Alliance path. I just like I was glad she got away when we recruited Shamir, because I really like Catherine and Shamir. I think I mentioned this before, but I really like the whole like they have like that dynamic duo type of energy going on. I like them both, but uh. Again, I just... Surely, Catherine's playable on the Knights, I'd have to imagine, but... Yeesh. Show your pride as members of an army which serves the greatest empire the world has ever known. Okay. I need to get everyone worked up for <laughs> When you dislike war as much as I do, you start to appreciate the lighter moments. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. Now, what do you say we show these adherents to the status quo a taste of true power? Mm -hmm. I don't stand a chance. To arms, then. Not likely. Today we claim our victory for the good of all. Right then. Reversal. I don't know if that's. Uh, you know that would be the worst thing actually. Make it really easy to pick off that enemy. But yeah, have the alliance lose a few. I'm just gonna do that. We could have gotten in some more uh, points. Oh, let's not forget to change out our units this time. It didn't make the last story mission, like, impossible by any means, but it did make it annoying. Where is... Oh, Violet is probably just RD. Wait, what? Come on. What? Oh, there she is. Okay. So, Violet, Lysithia, me, and... Oh, Edelgard. That's the main four we're using. It's really just a replacement of Gerald from last time because we're trying to use the Lord of this playthrough actually because we really didn't with Claude. It just, just, no, didn't happen. We will take him as a backup unit because he's level 58. Let's see, maybe take Shamir. I'm starting to wonder, like, surely Shamir's probably recruitable on every path based on what I've seen. I really hope uh, Lysithia is as well, but I don't know if that's the case. Another Dorothea might be... 
bring Ashram in. Alright, 1800 enemies, 19 minutes. That's quite the lengthy amount of time. Um, let's see who we end up fighting here. That is a lot of soldiers. Pretty intimidating. Oh, there are soldiers. The Empire, the Alliance, the Kingdom, even the forces of the Church. To think we would all meet in such a cramped locale. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Does anyone actually see the Knights of Saros amidst all this? I wonder if they're not even here to begin with. Mm -hmm. I mean, did they end up splitting the forces? I know Dimitri mentioned about like going out at it from a different direction, but interesting. The party's already starting, huh? It's too bad we couldn't throw it for something a little more civilized. Would it kill you to be serious for once, Claude? <laughs> Where's his mount? Isn't he? Uh... Oh no, there they are. I was like, I thought, I thought that was the entire point was we were all meeting in battle here, but there's Sedith and Flame. That's an interesting looking staff. What is it called, like a Codicus or Cassius or something? I don't know. Yep, yep. Starting up here shortly. Well then, just give the command, Edelgard. Good. Our very hope depends on you. Really. Brave warriors of Adrestia, the mm. time has come to demonstrate the Empire's There's just like two wyvern riders. <laughs> Any who dare stand in our way oh must be cut down. Massive army. Two people that are actually flying. <laughs> well, here we go. It's gonna be a big battle. We're on chapter 14 though, so I still think there's probably going to be another big decisive battle, but maybe that's just me. Yeah, that attack still basically one shots the enemy. All right, time to go. Find my Scythia to take this one. Violet's already right here. Sick. Take this one, then switch to one of them. Mm. Yeah. And again, I've never really felt like the Meteor is much of a schemer. I feel like he's. If any of the three is going to take a direct approach to a fight, it's probably him. My turn. I've heard troubling tales about Fargus's cavalry. You'll be in mm. deep trouble if you don't take them out. To be fair, it's not exactly ideal conditions to be fighting on cavalry either. Ow. There's Felix, I think. Hi, Felix. Hopefully more members of the kingdom don't die. We've already killed, what, Annette, Gustav, and Ingrid? So, you know, not exactly looking to murder any more of our former friends. Not exactly a fun pastime. That said, though, we're still going to, you know, use that. <laughs> that did okay damage. Savant's food, I think. Okay, I think Felix is retreating. There we go. Oh wow, okay. It's quite a few. Fortunately, it's a good thing we took... Well, we didn't take the thing to swap uh, places, actually, now I think about it. We took the uh, Alliance Archers. What I was gonna say, um... Good thing we at least sent Byleth over here, because clearly... It's gonna be kind of annoying. Alright, where... Come back. Come back. Oh my gosh. There's Sylvain. It's a wonder you can still stand. Hmm. Now would you please let us handle the rest? If you can, yeah, yeah sure. Back alive, Sylvain, or else. My Scythia's still taking care of that fort. Hmm. Hey, come back. Oh, it's the most annoying thing when units are just running away from you and you can't catch them. I feel like the flying units, um, the flying enemies are the ones that end up being the most notorious about this. We better remember to use this. Eventually, I do want to give a Merc Whistle to Byleth, though. Um, we are probably gonna... It's just, ah. It'd be a neat ability to have the extra time stop, but genuinely... Like, ah, I don't know. Alright, 
Oh, I still think. This isn't gonna be fun for you. Never mind, we missed. Where's that go? Okay. Did a good amount of damage. Sylvain! Stop! Come back! There we go. Oh, were we not supposed to kill him? Oh. Well, maybe we were supposed to let him go? It looked like he was kind of starting to run away. Uh, I mean, it didn't give us the option to persuade him, so I don't think he was... I just feel like we're getting rid of... Like, this many members of the kingdom did not die when we played um Golden Wildfire, but... uh, Jeez. Maybe it's my mistake, but like... Mm. I mean, I could redo the stage. Do I want to redo the stage to try and save him? I don't think we can is the issue because that was the main mission like we only have one mission now and if any <sighs> I'm not gonna worry about it I was considering it but we did the same thing with Catherine on this battlefield and it wasn't possible or at least a battlefield very similar to it but again I mean the whole main mission thing isn't always true because again that's what happened with the Byleth fight but I really legitimately don't think we're going to be able to recruit that many more members of the, uh, you know, um, yeah, it just doesn't seem likely to me. I wonder if Flane and Sadith still get away. We have to stop her. Yeah. See, it's main mission. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, I didn't mean to push that button. Yeah, let's see. Mm. I didn't even hit plane. Did she just... No, she's fine. Okay. Seriously, though, I feel like a lot of members of the... Uh... Hmm of the knights die in this playthrough. It's kind of crazy. I gotta defeat the Grimmeries. I don't feel like we've been defeating that many enemies this time. It's really easy to just use Shez's little dash attack and defeat enemies as we go. But honestly, all things considered, I don't think we've taken out that many here. One more. We've used a lot of Byleth's uh, weapon durability, actually. Byleth also has, like, over 300. There's a lot of Holy Knights there, too. Oh. Well, we were just mentioning that, and it looks like they did it anyways for us, so... That's convenient. They're launching an assault on that fort. Okay, well... I guess we could send... Nobody's really that close. We could just teleport her over here then. Then have her attack that fort. That'll have to work. Hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, tell me that didn't miss. Okay. I was going to say, something about mages and using their weapon arts. I think it is what makes the mages feel really good in this game. But I swear I mess it up and just whiff a lot of the time. Oh, I did you? Um, this isn't going to be a good time for you. Because you're an armored unit. Okay. Yeah, I feel really bad for Dimitri. Like, we are... I just... It seems so unnecessary after playing Golden Wildfire and having, like, none of the knights die to, in this singular session, watching Annette, Ingrid, and, uh, what was... It feels like a long time ago. We've been streaming for a few hours now, but... Um... 
just crazy to see how many of them do die on this playthrough. It makes me wonder if we could save any of them. Um, but again, I just don't see how we save Sylvain in this path. If we couldn't save Catherine in a very, very similar battle, I just... Mm, doesn't seem likely to me. But again, like, the whole point, I thought, was us not completely dismantling the uh, other kingdoms. But... I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It's one of those, like, the only decision that seems to be like, oh, this drastically affects the story really is if you, you know, recruit Byleth or not. But arguably, there's all these other units. But if, if you can't get the option to persuade them and they don't retreat on fight, oh gosh. I just don't really know what there is to be done to help them. We kind of, we always push that, trying to figure that out on the first playthrough, and it's why, like, on this playthrough, I'm just not sure that's the case. Hmm. If we didn't have the warping ability, that would have been really annoying. But because we have it, it's, you know, that wasn't, that wasn't that dangerous. Looks like he retreats, too. Hmm. There's the line sniper fuselage, okay. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, again, we still haven't seen Cyril. We still haven't seen... Um, I'm just gonna use this. We haven't seen Cyril, we haven't seen Catherine, we haven't seen Rhea. Aside from that little cutscene, which makes me wonder if they're going to try and ambush us, or if they really are just trying to, like, blitz the monastery or something. Which is possible. They show up to the battle, make us all commit everything here from the Empire and the Alliance, and then they just dip. It'd be bad for the people who have to stay, but... Potentially, you know? Hmm. Not exactly the best time to be asking him that, but yeah. Uh, I really don't think that's the case, but... Again, at this point, we've killed so many members of the, uh... The kingdom that in this path versus the alliance path, he might not actually believe us. Which is pretty sad, actually. Is there a question? Does he die here? No. No, he's fine. Yeah, you're fine. Did we defeat enough enemies? I was so close, close to ending. Or you were not that close to ending, Edelgard. Let's be honest, Dimitri. Just because you met on the battlefield does not mean you were that close. We drove off the kingdom in the central church. It's a start, mm -hmm. but this war is not over. We will hunt does Dimitri die in this path? This, this just seems crazy, like... Again, if there's only 16 chapters, uh... Huh. Would you look at that? <laughs> we won. Thanks to you. Oh, hi, Bylos. Actually, I'd say you pulled most of the Oh, is are we actually going to get pulled into the whole darkness thing again? Had a ton of grizzled warriors on their side. We would have been in real trouble without you and your oh. mercenaries. Interesting. You were pretty impressive yourself. You barely even broke a sweat out there. It makes me nervous when these two are alone by themselves given what happened last time. Like this. Me too. But they do have a wholesome conversation. I'm hoping you'll stick around to the end. Of course. The Ashen Demon has proved a greater asset than we could have ever imagined. You must be relieved to see your gamble pay off. If nothing else, I'll be a lot less busy as your partner in destiny going forward. Hmm. What a thing to imagine. Sorry, Evel. I mean, the powers are really helpful when we're in wartime. Oh, I didn't kill enough enemies. Oops. Level 69? Nice. We only got two stats, though. Stats for her, okay. Shamir, I really do think we'll probably have Shamir in the next uh, next battle. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We definitely had enough time to get the rest of the enemies. I just kind of was autopiloting. Oops. Alright, so what's next? Urgent report, your majesty. After his failed charge, Dimitri forced his way south in retreat. 
He has fled the battlefield. Yeah. And the Archbishop's right hand man Sedeb has escaped to the Oh, they just scattered them. That's interesting. Of him and his troops. Dimitri's the one to go after. Things will get yeah. complicated if we let him get away. We can move the fastest, so leave the pursuit to us. Just don't forget to send reinforcements. Oh, okay, he's volunteering to go. I want the two of you to follow Claude. It's not that I don't trust him exactly. I just want to make sure we're the ones who apprehend Dimitri. Oh, okay. Leave it to us. Now that I think about it, there's something else to be concerned about. Oh, no. Where was the Archbishop? Where was the yeah. main force of the Knights of Seros? Did we not... No, I guess we didn't see Ray in the cutscene. It maybe was just, uh, Sedeth. Nowhere to be found. No. Hubert, let me ask you something. Interesting. When the Archbishop escaped from Garrick Mach, we found no evidence of how she managed to reach oh. this valley, correct? Indeed. We searched high and low, but it was only by chance that we picked up her trail in Aeolau. That is how we knew she had entered the kingdom. Without that clue, she would have been in ruin. Just as I suspected. What is it, Ferdinand? Hmm. Is Garrick Mach in danger? Probably. I so. There could be a yeah. secret path. This valley and the monastery that only the church knows about. And in that case, Interesting. the Archbishop might be using it to stage an attack on Garrick Mach. It's certainly possible. Hubert, your thoughts? I will look into it. But I am almost certain that Ferdinand's theory is correct. We should assume this is the case and take action immediately. Of course it is correct. Very wise of <laughs> you to see that. Fair enough. In that case, we'll divide our troops. That's maybe not the, the best idea, but we'll see. Proceed with occupying Galatea. We'll lead the remaining third south to Garrick Mach mm. and continue our pursuit of Dimitri. Interesting. Splitting your forces into a third is something you can do because we have so many troops with the Empire. No but it's also a little dangerous. Oh no, it's happening. Oh no. Ah. Well, I was wondering if it was going to happen. Here it comes. How are they going to have to like get in? Is it really only 16 chapters? There's like a lot to wrap up in this chapter and another one if this is what happens here. We've already seen this cutscene. It's literally just Arvel possessing us and taking, picking a fight with him. Hmm. Uh-huh. Rosie slither in the dark. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but no, the cutscene is literally the same thing. Hey, man! No, we just got possessed by Arvo. You don't have to be like that. Hey, Monica's actually defending us. I don't think it, Ferdinand's stronger than Chess. Yeah. Hmm. To be fair, Claude was still kind of like, I felt like Claude still kind of believed in us. He was like, oh, something must be up. Whereas Edelgard's just like, yeah, no, we're going to go, we're going to go beat him up. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, but this is the mission that was annoying because we don't have access to either of our top tier characters. Uh, We do have Gerald though, so Gerald, Dorothea, Edelgard, yeah. It's probably the best we can assume. I don't really mind who we bring here, honestly. 800 enemies, 7 minutes, okay. Yeah, this is the stage where we basically just gotta hurry and rescue Byleth. Ugh. Defeating this many enemies, though, is really annoying. Let's send at least a couple people. Can we send? Let's send Lysithia. Is that a gatekeeper? It's bias? Okay. I do want to take care of this stronghold. I don't know if it's important to you, but we need to get some enemies done real quick. Because I genuinely don't know how much of an issue it's going to be to defeat 700 enemies. Especially on such a short stage. 
or what was it no it's 800 enemies in seven minutes because we don't have our normal kind of crutch for doing that oh that's a lot of grimmies Yeah, we'll take care of these and then we'll immediately switch over to uh, Lysithia, take care of that enemy. I don't know how long we have, like if we take too, too long, how long it takes for Violet to fall. But it doesn't mean we should push that limit, you know? Yeah, Lysithia is doing okay damage though. Oh yeah, that's helpful. Man... Are you just gonna run away? All right. Hi, Shiz. Listen, I'm gonna need you to uh, just like stop, okay? We went out of our way to do the stage like three times to save Byleth. I need you to stop being mean. <laughs> Come on. Uh oh, uh oh, oh gosh. Hmm. Makes me wonder what happens though. Again, if we didn't have Gerald, would we still have a similar fight? Would it just be that Violet is outright an enemy? At the, I mean, yeah, Violet is outright an enemy because obviously Gerald wouldn't be there to help. But so, oh, hey, that's convenient. That worked out really well though. Now we're right here. Hey, it's Solon. I thought we got rid of Solon. Okay, you have time to keep care of the... Yeah, okay. Hey, stop that. Ah. Uh... Hmm. We're using a lot of our weapons uh, durability here, though. Let's go try and stop him. From murdering each other. Yeah, I really don't think we've defeated that many. Oh, never mind. We're halfway there. Maybe it's our allies. Hmm. We're coming. I like that our uh, Violet still very clearly believes in Chess, though. She's not just like, why are you attacking me? I'm going to kill you. You know? Just going to use one of these here. But it looks like we are potentially going to get the mission in all three paths where you kind of have all three leaders and Chez in that other world. Which is interesting. My main question is, though, I thought that happened a good few chapters before the end in the Golden Wildfire route. Whereas, if this is actually the case, aren't we going to be... I'm confused. It's just interesting. Let's go start taking out some enemies, though. Oh, hey, they're right here. This is going to be another case where we can't get in from the back path. No, perfect. I remember that being a thing, and I was really annoyed. Was for this particular fort, it wouldn't let us go in from the uh, the other side. Oh. They warped again. Gosh dang it. Oh, this time they are quite a ways away too. Actually, Edelgard's pretty close. Bias reappeared, okay. Got to hurry. I mean, they do a pretty good job of instilling the panic of like, oh, we can't let Byleth die, because apparently Byleth's taking just a ton of damage. Hmm. Fortunately, Edelgard doesn't have any A bar, so we can't just instantly nuke uh, Bias here. We got rid of half her health, though. Not the biggest of issues. I do think it's hilarious that when she has those tuple bars, she can just do that a whole lot. There we go. Onwards. I'm a little worried about having not defeated enough enemies if this is towards the end of the stage again. But, eh. It's probably fine. I think I did actually redo this stage, funnily enough, when I... 
I think on the first playthrough, we did have to redo the stage for an S rank, and it let us use our actual units, funnily enough, again. But if we can do it right the first try... Oh yeah, no, we're fine. Hmm. Yeah. He's literally her dad. We're looking on time, though. Ooh, we only have like a minute still, though. That's a little bit scary. Yeah, we gotta hurry up to uh, Solon here. Lysithia does have an A bar. Let's go. Gonna be cutting it a little bit close, but eh, it's probably fine. Yeah, is this where we take out Solon? Hi, Solon. Please die. That do it. Oh, that did not do anywhere near enough damage, but. Do this. Yeah, and then they disappeared. Oh yeah, didn't, uh... I'm just gonna do this. He did not have that much health. Maybe that was overkill, but... Doesn't, uh, Arvel kill Solon while taking over? Hmm. Again, a lot of this stuff does seem to be mirrored for the most part. So there's that. Okay, here we go. Ooh, had to sneeze. Hmm. Yeah, this is just... That should be the same cutscene. We could watch it again, but it's... We know exactly what happens here. You only get health there. <laughs> it's everybody levels up. <laughs> Hmm. Well, at least we got the S rank first try. That's helpful. I genuinely wasn't sure if we were going to there. All right, one sec. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be there. Alright. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Might be a mistake, but I'm pretty sure that's basically the same thing. Same thing with, like, the cutscenes of uh, Arvel taking over and killing Solon and that stuff. It should be the same thing. I really can't imagine it's any different. You wake up. This is also probably the exact same conversation. I imagine the conversations we have while down here might be different. Why do you have to be so mean? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same exact thing. Not gonna worry about it. Cyrus, yeah, yeah. I do think these conversations might be slightly different, because last time we temporarily parted with everyone except, um, you know, Claude. Where to avoid a scenario? Right? There's nothing wrong. Hmm. Yeah, because last time we, we talked to our house leader and then the other two didn't have a discussion. But when we talk to one of the other leaders, the other two would have a conversation. Hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Hmm. Okay. It's probably how he feels. Okay. And so uh, hmm. interesting. Huh. I don't remember if this was mentioned last time. Cause last time, because we were with Claude, we had the conversations between Edelgard and Claude and Demetri and Claude. I don't think we actually had this particular pairing. Okay. Did she just trip? Oh no, it was like a earthquake. Oh, okay. There you go. Funny how he kind of was the least reasonable since he went insane in three houses post time skip, but he's still probably the most reasonable here. Okay. Hmm. Was it actually him? Yeah, it was probably him. Yeah, possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. She just walks away. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Still gotta talk to... Where is he? Dimitri. Yeah. Yeah, he's, like, crazy strong, if I remember correctly. Remember all the means of him, like, crushing lances and stuff? Now, I wonder if this is the same conversation... Because if it is the same. Yeah. No, it's the same thing. The only new conversation was between Edogard and Dimitri, I think. Because we had both the conversations between Claude and the other two before. Okay, well, do we have the... Oh, we don't have those. Okay. Um, Might as well just go. Don't know how much longer I'm going to go, but we're getting quite a ways in. If chapter 16 really is the end, then we're at the point where like, we'll have chapter 16 pair log support conversations. But this is one of the things that does seem basically the same. Yeah. I did this in my first playthrough, like I said, and I... Yeah, yeah, no, this is the same. Oh, 
I was wondering if some of it would be different, but it makes sense too. This is one of those things. That, I was curious if this was even going to happen in this path from the way things were going. But. Hmm. Yeah, there's some clones. Hubert, Dedu, and Hilda. Hmm. All right, let's hold it down. Oh, and just in the aftermath, that's the Hubert clone almost down as well. Pretty crazy. That's convenient, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the real Hubert would absolutely not. Jeez. Yeah, that's some psychological warfare right there, but is interesting yeah a lot of there have been a lot of parallels between past but i don't think there's been a whole lot that's been just like straight up carbon copy it's felt like like this past little bit but seriously the cutscene with solon was very clearly the same thing the discussions i know were slightly different when like that's why i was kind of reading slash watching a lot of them is some of the discussions that were clearly based on who your house leader were and such like the suspicions of oh what happened when you turn sides and stuff those are different because you have a different house leader but aside from that very, very similar. Here's where they summon clones of each of the leaders, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Yep, Adogar, Dimitri, Claude. Yep. Kind of funny seeing that whole double symbol though because again how often do you have a unit that's effective against themselves not only like you're fighting themselves but they're effective against themselves and they're weak to them how weak to themselves and it's because he's an archer on a flying mount really just one of a kind matchup that really only seems to happen once in the playthrough because when else are you gonna have claude fighting claude Jeez. Be able to trust even myself, huh? Yeah, here's where we got to try out Dimitri's new set, and it does seem pretty neat. Except for what we missed, but, you know. That line makes a little bit more sense, too, to be fair. When we've actually, you know, he has a bunch of friends to avenge. <laughs> Because again, in the Alliance, uh, yeah, the Alliance path, I didn't feel like we'd actually, you know, taken out completely a lot of the members of the kingdom. Whereas here, several are no longer with us. But yeah, he has a pretty cool moveset with um, the lightning spears and such. Makes me actually kind of wonder how fun it's going to be to use him on our last path. Especially since we're, well, to be fair, we're probably going to skip quite a few battles as always, but still. Hmm. That fandom is not taking that much damage. There we go. Come on. Oh, what what was that? Did Shez come down? Oh, Shez came down here. In that case, that'll probably be faster than Shez still has weapon points as well. But it is kind of sad, though, that Dimitri just straight up says, yeah, I'm the one who wants to get rid of me the most. Especially since, again, in this particular timeline, with three hopes, he's honestly the one that, like, as much as he disagrees with what Rhea and, like, everything, you know, as he says, personally is going, and he's very pinned with what he has to do, he's not the one who started the war, and he's not the one like Claude who's just scheming with everybody. Like, he's really just kind of doing his own thing, trying to do the right thing. This makes it kind of sad, in my opinion. There we go. That's all the phantoms down. We've done enough enemies. Now we just gotta rush the end. Why not that? Yeah, I was gonna say the other leaders are actually stronger than Edelgard. And we've used Edelgard a fair bit, just it's not been as much because Shez has been MVP pretty much every time. 
which does genuinely cut down on some XP. Although, to be fair, the only reason Claude was like level 50 plus when we did this was because we leveled up Claude specifically at one point, just with gold. So, there's that. Alright. Oh, and this is where I think we fight one of the beings and then they fight our mirror image or something like that. Hmm. Here it is. All right. Epimenides, huh? Okay. And he's kind of saying that to the group that has felt this with them. You know? We're not really Epimenides' partner, though. I mean, maybe that's semantics, but we are... Yeah, I was going to say, we were with Arvo. And if Arvo was trying to kill us, we'd probably fight Arvo as well, but, you know. Hmm. Where he does the barrier? Yeah, okay. So you have to take control of the others and... Yeah, Byleth and... Yeah, okay. I don't know if we're going to do this fast enough, actually. I feel like we've been a little bit slow on the draw here. We have three minutes to take out bulk phantoms. As well as... Hmm. Hmm. Ow. Well, maybe we'll be okay. Might as well take out... One of them first, focus down one. There's one phantom down, where's the other? Wait. Did we already... What? Oh, the other one's over here. Why was the other one over here? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know when, uh... When the Byleth Phantom got over here, but that's not good, even though there's three over them. I mean, Chez is probably stronger. <laughs> Come on. Stop wasting my time. Perfect. Nice. Does that finish it? Well, this will probably finish it. It's a little bit hard to feel bad for Epimenides, though, when they kind of just show up right here, take over Arvo, and it's like, well, if there'd been a little bit more backstory behind it, you know, we get some, but Arvo doesn't have their memories, such as such and such, you know, it's just kind of hard to feel bad. Maybe that's just me, though. This is also probably the exact same cutscene, but eh. Uh -huh. Nice cutscene, though. Yeah, cutting the moon, or the water orb that they talk about. Again, we kind of skipped through some of that dialogue, but we saw it in our first one. Same thing. Hmm. Yeah. Still sad, though. Kind of reverts at the end though. Which is always something that makes it really sad. I feel like that's kind of... Wasn't that kind of what happened with Takumi in the Conquest Path of Fates? Where he gets possessed, but then he kind of fades back about it at the end. Either way, that's always a really sad way to do it. But still. Very, very similar to what happened before. If not like the exact same cutscenes. Yeah. Hmm. 
There we go. Amor. Oh, is that her fancy? Is that her special? That was Edo Guard dude, Raging Storm. Seems a bit late for that, don't you think? Maybe I'll upgrade it. I don't know. The chapter like 15 for her signature weapon seems like it took a while, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We all just kind of talk about going our separate ways. Why? Claude, I thought, was still our ally at this point. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, see, that's different. She apologized to Claude, I think, before. Mm -hmm. I hope we can do this again, Lynn. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is our final battle on this path taking place in Garrick Mock? Interesting. Still gotta say though, having Gerald be like the narrator for all of this stuff was the correct character choice, I'd say. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, if that's what he's worried about, uh, this news is going to be pretty bad. Is it? We didn't leave that many soldiers here, to be fair. Oh, and the secret passage. Well, who else is going to know Garrick Mock better? Interesting. <laughs> Is that us? Probably. Oh. Oh. Okay, then. <laughs> this guy just got caught in the middle of a big mess. That's what's happening. Oh, there's Tallis. I feel like the Empire route is giving us some more conclusive uh, endings on some of these characters than the Alliance route did. Honestly, though. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, though, because to be fair, I felt like... I genuinely did feel like of the four routes in um, Three Houses as well, Golden Deer's route was a little bit underdeveloped. All things considered, I know the big one people mention is the whole Edelgard saying she wanted to walk alongside us in that path in the church route. Whereas in the church route, we were sided with the Empire and the Golden Deer it didn't make as much sense. But that's making me wonder if maybe this is the case again. Glad that Catherine survived past, like, what was it, like, Chapter 7, though, last time? Mm-hmm. 
Maybe Rhea does survive this time, though. Maybe if... I don't know how many more chapters there are, but maybe Rhea is like, hey, let's unite against the common enemy. I just can't imagine Rhea stepping down at the end of the day because it's Rhea, you know? Mm -hmm. We still have Catherine's special sword, too, if we ever get her. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's those who slither in the dark, they just want chaos. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, if they hadn't started causing chaos, maybe... They would have just straight up gone for Count Varley in time. Mm. Okay. That's not very... It's a bit understandable given her situation, but it's not very kind to say. <laughs> Jeez. Let's keep going. Yep. Yeah, the issue is we don't know about all the secret routes, so we might have to just go straight there. <laughs> oh, well. Oh my gosh. Talus is here. Okay, so this is probably a singular fight chapter, if I had to guess. Is this the last chapter, though, I wonder? Yeah, yeah, it's a singular fight chapter. Okay. Hmm. Oh, battle suggestions. Unit speed, resistance, charm. I still don't know what charm or speed does. Resistance is against magic, obviously. Let's try speed. Why not? Maybe we should have done Dorothea's just because I'd give her some morale. I don't know. Yeah, I can't hear Arbo anymore. It's sad. Anyway, let me just double check something. I want to make sure there's not a cutscene just when we open the map here. Okay. Oh, are we going to have to do the paralogs here? Interesting. Okay. Um, in that case, what I think we're going to do is go ahead and save here. It says chapter 16, not endgame. That's interesting. I can't imagine there's more than a couple more chapters, though. One or two at the most. More than the Golden Wildfire route. Because at the end of the day, it's still revolving around the three different paths you can take. Um, so what I think I'm probably going to do is go ahead and end the stream here. I'm going to take care of those three paralogs real quick, just to clear them out. The one with Shamir, Leone, the Ashen Wolves, and then the... I can't remember what the last one was, but the three that we've already done. Based on that timer, though, it makes me think that we do have to do those paralogs here. So, what we'll probably do next time is I'll go ahead and take care of like doing some of the older fights again, those three paralogs again. And then when we start the stream next time, I don't know if that'll be tomorrow or Saturday. Um, it just depends. I think I have a few things to do tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, we'll probably start by doing all those paralogs just to clear them out. We'll do that stuff. And then when we get to the end game, if we get to the end game next time, we'll take care of like the support conversations and stuff as well. But overall, I think we've gotten to a pretty good stopping point here. So thanks for everyone who stopped by. Again, I think a couple, as always, I think a couple of friends from like Discord stop by here and there. I know I have a family member too that also usually stops by and watches for a good amount as well. But still having really fun with this game. I am genuinely curious to see what happens in the kingdom path, just because I think that might be the one that diverges the most from the others. But as always, I'll upload the VOD on YouTube and do some grinding off stream, but I'll catch you guys later. Uh, until next time though, bye.